Chris Burkham. Frank Lampard, what a beauty. And it's Thierry Henry. And Henry is magnificent. Harry Kane. Oh, oh what a goal. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic from Wayne Rooney. Steven Gerrard. And that is an absolute crackerjack. And the Canyon Hall. I do yeah. not believe that. Welcome to a very, very special episode of Elimination. I'm your host, Bob, and I am here talking football. I'm not on my own. I'm here with my dad, Dave. How do? Dave, do you want to do the intros? Well, we've got the two Johns, but to make it uh, less complicated or confusing, we're going to call John Kasapi John. He's my old oh, going back to the late 60s, friends for life. <laughs> and John Brett will be JB. Which oh, I, thought, is anyway. I, I thought it was John Boy. <laughs> <laughs> JB and me have worked together, well, up to a couple of months ago when I retired, for, since 1985. Uh, Tottenham fan. That's why he's really here, isn't it? Because <laughs> we were a bit lopsided. So How are you, Johns? Said. I'm very well, thank you. Are you nervous? Uh, no, no. That was no. the S. <laughs> um, okay, well, I mean, because we're here and we're going to be discussing this this team of, made up of uh, England, Wales, Scotland, Ireland, Northern, Northern Ireland, Ireland Northern... Republic, the British Isles. Yeah. Um, but who are we to be making that decision? So what I would just want from you guys is just a little bit of credentials, who you support, obviously, um, and what your history is with football. Did you play it? Did you, you know, did you um, manage it, train kids? Well, what is it? So, John, do you want to go first? Uh, yeah, I mean, I got involved in football, I guess, around about 1967 when Chelsea played Spurs in the all first ever London Cup final. And I How'd just you get remember- on, John? Pardon? How'd you get on? In that cup final. I don't want to mention it. <laughs> but, but, yeah, JB's got and, something to say about that. I'll mention it. I think because you... that's why I started supporting Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> well, JB, I think that's probably the last time you beat us. <laughs> but um, no, so basically in my primary school, like, I don't know, we had a game at dinner time and the teacher sort of said, Spurs fans up that end and my brother went up that end. What? So I thought, I'm not going up there with him. I'm going to support the other team. So he said, Chelsea fans up there, and as it turns out. So I've become a Chelsea fan sort of from that. From that moment and, on. Um, really, I played football till I was 30s, then done my coaching badges, coached kids and adult teams, till sort of one really freezing February, Tuesday night at Greenwich Borough, and I thought, what am I doing here? It's freezing, <laughs> my knees are aching, I'm trying to coach kids and... And, and men who ain't listening and I've sort of called it a day and start, got a season ticket back at Chelsea and, and obviously congratulations recently you were spotted on Sky Sports um, yeah, I, I celebrating followed, <laughs> I, I followed the camera around as much as I did to be fair I think I watched the camera more I did the game <laughs> I mean start of the season did you see Chelsea doing that? no I think I think when you looked at us letting goals in for fun you're thinking if we can get top four it'd be a miracle and come January, we was like 10th, I think, when uh, Tuchel took over. So to get to two cup finals, I mean, I was probably more disappointed we lost the Leicester game because I, I thought that was the one we was going to win. That was a given. But yeah. what a consolation to somehow win, win the big one uh, two weeks later, which we weren't really expecting, yeah. I don't think. But no, I think sometimes people say you got to beat the best teams to win these cups, but I don't believe that. I mean... When you look at the draw Chelsea got, we got a bad draw in the last 16 against Atletico. But when you looked at Porto, Real Madrid and the others, were all the top sides were in the other half of the group, really. And I think the draw suited us fine. And even the final in Porto, we've played on that pitch three times this year. So uh, I probably would have given Chelsea a bit more of an advantage. But, yeah. but no, yeah, good weekend. <laughs> Good weekend. Still celebrating now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, JB, what's your history with the game? Um, yeah, well, m- mine was opposite to John. Um, 67 Cup final. My next door neighbour was a Chelsea fan. And um, literally it was, who are you going to support in the final? And I was like, final? Well, yeah, I was eight. Well, what final? Oh, it's 
Chelsea Tottenham. Oh, I'm Chelsea. Oh, well, I'll be Tottenham then. And then on the Monday, going to school. Well, what, what was the result? Well, Tottenham won. Well, that was it. I was Tottenham and Tottenham won and... and Bragging rights. Yeah, and sort of... A, <laughs> Bloody glory, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, 50, yeah, 50 years later, I'm still waiting for the next one. <laughs> so. it, it's amazing, those those moments that kind of... Because if it was a different team in the final and the teacher said that yours, John, mm. West Ham or Arsenal, it yeah. would have been a whole different story. Yeah. Same for yeah, you. If we'd have lost, it could have been completely mm. different. Yeah. It could have been our change and I'll, I'll be Chelsea. But... Uh, for my sins, we we won. So yeah. and did you play football yourself? Yeah, yeah. From I started playing really competitive, obviously at school, bits and pieces. But yeah, about under fifteens, uh, joined a team, and then I played for the same team till I was forty eight. Jeez, so, right that's a through. that's a career yeah. and a half. There's your yeah. knees. There's your knees. Yeah, knees are absolutely. <laughs> had, had a few ligaments and bits and pieces, and uh, but yeah, apart from that, stitches in the head and eyes, and uh, put my tooth through my lip a few times. But yeah, I was pretty lucky in in injury wise. Yeah. yeah. What sort of player was you? Uh, yeah, I was all right. I could you know hold my own. What kept, what position? Uh, I actually played sweeper, and when I started, I was a centre forward. And and it was funny that I sent the forward and, and you know I was right quite mobile and, and got quite a few goals, um, and then I was at school and the, I wanted to play centre midfield and the, the teacher was like no 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 I said I I think you can read the game you can sit at the back and and, and watch yeah, it, happen, it, and yeah. it just yeah and it just clicked it was just one of those positions I you know sweeper was quite a new position in them days yeah yeah. You know? And because I was quite quick and quite could read the game, it, it suited me, you know. Yeah. Um, and, and now I played sort of sweeper for I don't know nearly forty years, I suppose. Oh, that's a long. But in them days, JP, would a sweeper have been with just one centre half? You wouldn't be yes. like today yeah, no, with two centre half. Yeah, no, one centre half, and literally it was with him until the ball was played, and then you dropped back five yards, yeah. and then if he missed it, you were sitting. So like Bobby Moore or Jack Charlton. Yes, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, John? Did you you play? Yeah, I played. I played for mainly for a team called Catford Wanderers on a Saturday afternoon, which I, I would I would suggest that was just probably one off non league uh, non league football. So I spent most of my best days at Catford, really. Um, what sort of a position player? Were I was you? I was sort of I was like a centre forward, really. I, I played off the big man, as they say. So back in the good old days, you'd had a big man and a little Kevin man. Kevin Phillips. <laughs> yeah, or, or I'd rather say Koshak. Toshak and Keegan, was it? But, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I used to get a few goals, but the centre forward used to take all the kicks mainly, which I was happy with. So he'd get battered all day, and the, the ball would drop to me, and I'd knock it over the line, and I'd be a sort of the hero. And he'd, <laughs> he'd be in the dressing room with all the bruises. So, uh, <laughs> that's how you yeah, want it. So, that's how you want it. But, you know, getting back to JP with the sweeper system, in them days, everyone sort of played 4 4 2. So I was one of the two forwards, and we just. Um, football was different then you just play with two up front and you both worked across the lines and tried to stick together really where today who plays with two forwards apart from Burnley I, yeah. I mean I can't think of anyone 4-4-2 four, four, was the standard when it really yeah. that was that was how it was always set up yeah. um, what about you Dave you, do you play a lot? not a lot no I've, I've got married young so that was my oh, yeah, it's, her yeah. <laughs> it's her fault it's her fault no not really I played, I played for a few old teams here and there but it was never like these two. So what? So what? What was the um, catalyst for you being an Arsenal fan? What was the first well, game? Well, my dad or... wasn't really a football person, uh, but my uncle Frank he had two daughters, and uh, I don't know. I remember the actual date. It was uh, September nineteen sixty three. We went to F- He took me to a first game. He picked me up in his Vauxhall Cresta. <laughs> the top half. I remember his car. Yeah, the, the top <laughs> half was purple, and the bottom half was pink. Beautiful. Like Must have looked States. good at Arsenal <laughs> rolling up in that car. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> so he's, he, he took me and uh, he took me quite a few times actually. And that's why I'm an Arsenal fan. I mean, if he'd been a West Ham fan, Tottenham fan, Chelsea yeah. fan, that's what I'll be supported. So he's fine lines, isn't it? Really? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's exactly the same for me. When I was in primary school, I just sort of, sort of supported the same team as my mate because I just yeah. And then I remember I came home once and I said to you. 
Yeah. You said to me, "Are oh, we going to watch the Arsenal tonight?" And I said, "Oh no, I'm a Man United fan. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't kick that out of me." And that was it. And that was it. I was, uh, and and that's what that's what made me realise it was important to have a team. You've got to stick with one team. Whereas before, I just supported whoever I was hanging oh, about with. Who swap teams? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just not on, I, yeah. It? But from that moment on, yeah. So I mean. Yeah, it's a knock-on effect for me and obviously my brother Michael. He's an Arsenal fan. It's sort of, it stays with you. But it, it, just that small thing, you know, yeah, a different yeah. team makes it to a final, and yeah, it's really interesting. But um, so I, I asked before on the first one, JB, that um, who your kind of poster boy was, um, and well, it's uh, Peter Pete, Osgood. Pete Osgood and uh, Frank McLeanock. Mine was Dennis Burkamp. I just wondered who your, who you admired when you was a kid. Who was your <laughs> Would have to be Jimmy Greaves. Jimmy Greaves. Yeah. Hold on, he's a Chelsea player. Uh, (laughs) Not in John's time. (laughs) (laughs) No, it'd have to be Jimmy Greaves. Yeah, Mm. he's a great player. Mm. Yeah. And and I, I know him more for like Saint Saint, Saint and Greasy, yeah, yeah. Um, the personality mm. later on. But when you go back and yeah, see some of the because you watch a lot of old games. Didn't well, the funny thing is, I watched. Um, I've got a DVD of the nineteen sixty two cup final, and I've watched it. Uh, Jimmy Greaves was in that. It's Tottenham v Burnley. And the football was so much slower back then. But all the other players were playing 1962 speed. But Jimmy Green seemed to be speeded up. He, <laughs> he was so much faster than everyone else on the pitch. It was quite ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, he was a great player, Greasy. Yeah. Um, okay, so do you want to, Dave, do you want to explain what we're going to be doing? Well, in the previous the episode, we picked a, a British Isles... Uh, sorry, a Premier League Overseas eleven. Premier League to, uh, 30 years or whatever it is all the best players from overseas and we picked a team and I'll, I'll just run through the team well, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. if you want to hear the team you should go listen to the other episode surely or do you want to get JB's opinion well yeah I do oh ok <laughs> there you go go on well uh, well we've listened to the first episode anyway but anyway <laughs> Peter Schmeichling goal uh, a back three this IA company and Van Dyke then we've got two holding players, Patrick Vieira and Michael Essien. Then we've got four midfielders, Ronaldo, Hazard, Burkamp, Henri. Licensed to go forward at any time, any all of them. And Big Drogba up front. Now, when I showed this team to JB, ratings was a bit Arsenal-Chelsea heavy. Just a little bit. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a good team. It, yeah, it's a very good team. Yeah. I mean, would it be improved if you swapped Burkamp for Cantona? I don't think it would. Possibly not, no. That was the no, last, that was kind of I think, the last. Yeah, I think Cantona was, was the one that probably. Or, um, out. I don't know. Well, there are other players who could have got in, I suppose. But, I mean, the reason we went three at the back is because the standard of full backs wasn't good, was it? No. The best we could come up with was sort of Evra and Zabaleta, really, wasn't it? That was about it. So yeah. that's why we thought the strength of the team would be stronger. Playing this system, getting all the best players in. Is yeah. there anyone? Um, is there anyone that sort of flags well, up? Do you think? Yeah, I mean Makaleli for Chelsea, but then you've got Essien in. Yeah, his but place, we, so we, we, so we did consider him. But John prefers and Conte anyway, didn't you, to Makaleli? Yeah, I, I would have. I, being a Chelsea fan, I'd, I'd, I mean, this is before the Champions League final. <laughs> I might have changed my mind now, but I would have had Essien first, Conte second, Makaleli three. I think them two have just. Took it to another level a little and bit. And Vieira yeah. and Essie together, I mean, that's very athletic, isn't it? I mean, yeah. that's, that is... Yeah, strong, powerful. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a very great team, aren't Anyone they? else, JB, that you... Saw? No, John just said uh, Kante. I, he, yeah. I, he stands out in the modern day. Oh, sort yeah. Of, you know, for, for box to box. I mean, yeah. we did consider a hell of a lot of players, didn't we? Mm. We had a huge... I mean, go back and listen to it if you haven't, because it's, uh, yeah, we really did sort of... Uh, Argue our way through it, and uh, some great names as well that didn't make the team. So but the uh, the job now in this episode is to pick a Premier League British Isles, including Republic of Ireland team, to play this team. Yeah. So we want a stronger team as possible. Yeah. So, yeah. did you want to go ahead with that, Robert? Well, well, well um, be- before we start, I've got to say, can I manage the, the rest of the world team? <laughs> the British Isles team to have a lot of chances. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. It's some good players in here. Yeah. yeah. So just to recap, we've got um, we've got JB, who's a Spurs fan. Uh, me, Bob, the host, as a Arsenal fan. Dave is an Arsenal fan as well. And then we've got John, who's a Chelsea fan. So a good mix of, for this uh, 
um, British Isles team. Um, before yeah. we start talking about systems and that, we just pick a goalkeeper because that's uh, he's not going to interfere with the system of the team if they're playing. What is he? So yeah. we should start with a goalkeeper. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've got seven possibles, so we we'll start going through them. Uh, well, I'm surprised you got that many. <laughs> well, starting off, Republic of Ireland, Shay Given, good goalkeeper, wasn't he? He was. He was on a decent man, Shay Given, wasn't he? Uh, um, I wouldn't think he was top class, but. Well, he was a decent keeper, good chop stopper. I think height always let him down in the yeah. In the yeah, I think he's a good goalkeeper, but I don't. Th- I don't think he's going to be the best of these seven, is he? No. So we're no. going to discount Shay. He wor- he's worth a mention, but yeah. but that's as that's as far. Now, what about the man who just didn't fulfil his potential, Joe Hart? At his best, was he good enough? What happened to him? I mean, one minute he was the England regular and. Playing yeah. for Man City and he just Burnley's third choice. Now Tottenham's second choice, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I don't. Know. I think when he was at Man City, they wanted to change the system and have someone who could play out from the back. Yeah. And he can't. You know, he, he's a, an old-fashioned type. Yeah. Yeah, he's an old-fashioned type goalkeeper where it comes to him and it's hoofed up the field. Um, and Man City didn't want that, so he was down the pecking order uh, at the time. It was England number one. That's the modern game for you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I think I think JB's right. I mean, it, Guardiola didn't think he could play it from the back, and I think his career went downhill from there. I think he just lost all confidence that he was a top keeper anymore. As soon as he left City, he was he just like prone to mistakes all the time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the, the belief in himself had gone, wouldn't it? Yeah. Rather, yeah. rather than the manager not having belief and thinking, "Well, okay, stick yeah. his fingers up to you. I'm going to be the best for this team." Then he just sort of faded away. Right, David James, good goalkeeper, also known as Calamity James. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that all says itself, doesn't it? Uh, he had the mistake in oh, him, didn't he? Did, yeah. yeah. I remember someone threw the bo- a bottle at him. Oh, that was the soccer AM thing, thing yeah. It. <laughs> End of the game, they threw a bottle to him and he dropped it. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, he, he must have played a record number of games oh, for yeah, a goal, I mean, mustn't he? But, it's oh, just with a goalkeeper, they, you, the mistakes, they haunt you, don't they? Yeah. Is that why Liverpool never won anything with him in goal? You know, because... Oh, I think it's more than just... There's there, always yeah. a rick happening there, wasn't yeah. there? He did he done a few for England as well, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, and once as a goalkeeper, once you, it's very hard. I mean, almost impossible to get rid of that. Yeah. Once you're sort yeah. of tired with that, everyone's waiting for you to yeah. make the next one. Make, make the next yeah. one. Oh, he's done it again. You know, I a very. I mean, I can't think of one off the top of my head that's come back from that. Really. Mm. No. So, unlikely. Looking at these goalies, Dave, I think we might be playing rush goalies. <laughs> <laughs> Nigel Martin. He was a good goalkeeper. Solid, wasn't he? Solid, reliable, yeah, reliable. Yeah. Can't yeah, think of too many big keeper. mistakes with him. He strikes me as a second fiddle goalkeeper, though. Not like Tim Flowers. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, sort of a goalkeeper that comes in when your main one's injured. Yeah. You know, he's, he'd do a job, but consistently and and for the whole season. I, I don't know. I, I, yeah, not for me. So he's good, but not good enough. Yeah, I think Shea Gibbons better than him. Jordan Pickford, the current England goalkeeper. Would you actually have him in the England team now if he was manager? Because I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No, I don't think he's the best we've got in England. I think Pope of Burn is their best guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I do think, I. Yeah, I think that Johnson's... I've not really seen much. He's the West Brom. He's the West Brom, yeah. He must get a lot of practice, mustn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's made the most saves in the, in the current <laughs> season. But, <laughs> is he going to get relegated with him? Is he going to get transferred or is someone going to snap him up? Or, um, I or, think there's, there's talk of him being just sort of snapped up, yeah. But, you know, after the Euros, we'll probably find out. Yeah. So, unlikely. Yeah. What about you, John? Pickford? No, I don't rate him at all. I think the, the fella's a nutcase. He, <laughs> he just looks like a cat on a hot tin rib to me. If you're if you're playing in front of him and you look yeah. round at him, I don't think he'll give you any sort Com- of confidence, confidence at all. No. I just think he's he's jumping up and down. He's shouting a load of nonsense half the time. He's making... Erratic decisions. I mean, he's not Virgil uh, Van Dyke's favourite player, is he? Uh, I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> After that, he won't even tackle. He won't even tackle, was it? Yeah, so it tackle who was a VAR yeah. referee <laughs> looking at that? Yeah, yeah, who thought it was a decent challenge? 
Do you remember no. the goal um, that with uh, against Liverpool where it looped up in the, the yeah uh, in the last injury time? Yeah, yeah, went to tip it over the bar, didn't he? Or tipped it in. Tipped it in yeah. his own net. <laughs> Or tipped it onto the body and in a Yeah, it yeah, was just right there, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, that that was injury bit, time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean that that to me sums him up. It's just <laughs> just panicking the whole so, time. Just, so he's a no no. Not yeah, not for me. I mean Right. David Seaman. He's got a goal. He was a good goalkeeper. Yeah, he's the only one that can get in the team. I think yeah, I think it's a no brainer. Yeah. He was he was like the follow up from Smichael when he really like when Michael used to come to Chelsea, you used to see the size of him, and then Seaman was the same. He had this presence about him where you felt, unless he was a yard out knocking it into the goal, like he, he looked unbeatable. You know, when you, you're watching a game, he just seemed to cover it. I never like the pony, never like the ponytail. The oh. ponytail. Yeah. Whose phone's that? Come on, John. Come on. It's not John's tape. <laughs> Mine's turned off. <laughs> like a professional, JB. Yeah, That's David Seaman. Put me in, he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, the, Tony, uh, the ponytail era was... Uh, uh, yeah, that was uh, later uh, on in his career. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he was better when he first came along for Arsenal. He was unbeatable, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But again, you, you look at... There's a lot of instances of... of you think of the Naeem thing, the Ronaldinho yeah. thing. Yeah, the, yeah. The, I was just going to say that. Up. The Gascoigne one in the semi-final. Yeah. You think he did have, you know... The Ronald, <laughs> I think the Ronaldinho one was worse. The, the, the other one was such a fluke, one in a million thing, wasn't it? But the Ronaldinho one, you could see he, was gonna, he should have been ready to save that. But he wasn't even a shot... No, it was a cross, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it was about yeah, 45 yeah. yards yeah. out, wasn't it? Yeah. it was, that yeah, was yeah. bad. I think it's only the Ronaldinho thing, really. I mean, the Gascoigne one was still hit at pace in the top corner. Oh, it's a great free kick. Uh, yeah, he had a long time to see it. And then he seemed one. to go with his wrong hand. He seemed to go yeah, with his yeah, right yeah. hand in the left-hand yeah. side instead of his left hand. You sound you like know. a man who's seen that goal yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm not yeah. so sure, JB. That's, I think that's how they coach your goalies now. If it's in the top right-hand corner, you've got to go with it with your right hand because you can get a lot more height on it. So I guess if it's... Like head or it's your left hand. If it's above there up in that corner, it's, it's your right hand. A lot of them do go, go the wrong, yeah. sort of wrong way, don't they? I was speaking to Jock about it, my mate in the pub about it a few weeks ago, and I was saying, I think that's how they coach goalies now, that you can get more height with with the other hand, I guess your right hand, if you're going in that top left hand corner. So much but, of goalkeeping is like instinct, isn't it? I mean, it's reacting just uh, without even thinking. You just, I mean, that I've, on Facebook recently, I saw that save by Seaman against Sheffield United. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where he just sort of plucked it out. I mean, but how strong that, was his hand to, yeah. to force it back out? I mean, the know? bloke was already had his shirt over his head. He was yeah. already <laughs> celebrating. You know? He's all waiting to go yeah. away. I mean, that is incredible. And I've never seen a save like it. You know, mm. it's, it's, and that instinct just. Didn't think about it. It's just it's there. I'm well, it's probably it similar to the Montgomery one in that cup final them years ago when it was going over the line. He oh, sort of yes. curled it back. Yeah. That's unbelievable. It's um, two, wasn't it? So he looks like Stephen, but he's got one more challenger, Neville Southall. He was a good goalkeeper. He didn't look like a good goalkeeper. But he he looked like the bloke you meet in the pub, didn't he? <laughs> who used to be a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's. Um... Everton fans loved him, didn't they? The thing is with Southall, though, he never really, apart from all them games for Everton, he, he never even got an England team that often. He was Welsh. He? Oh, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was holding him back. That was like the anti Naomi finish. He was Welsh. 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 He was well, he should have got one. What do you think, JB? He was a good player, wasn't he? Devil Southall? Uh, as you say, he, he, he played loads of games for, for Everton and that, and, and for Wales. Um, but he just didn't seem to be that top keeper. He just didn't seem to... He, he didn't stand out in front of Seaman for me. No. So we are looking... David Seaman yeah. is in the side. Yeah. He's around a long time yeah. as well, Southall, wasn't he? Went a long yeah, time. Played a long yeah, time, yeah. Played yeah. a lot of games. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if anything, he, to me, he always looked like he was a bit overweight as well. Yes, oh, yeah. always. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, you, you you know, you look at him, you think, oh, you know, he's a Billy folks, you know, like, or <laughs> yeah. whatever. He done a protest in it one game. He didn't go in for half time, 
So yeah, he's, he's, did he, he set, on the, on the he set on the post. On the post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, yeah. Oh, what was that about then? I'm not quite sure. It's something to do with running a club or something like that. Yeah. Nothing to do with being Welsh. <laughs> yeah, I can't get, he hadn't got I can't get an England team. <laughs> I still ain't got my England cap. <laughs> Um, so we, sh- well, I mean, we should mention that um, obviously we've mentioned uh, Peter Osgood and uh, Greavesy and that, but we this is Premiership. We I don't think we mentioned that, but this is pre- the the start of the Premiership to till now, uh, twenty twenty one. We're in now, um, as we do as we do pick the players. Dave is put it on a board, so if you hear rattling, that's what that is. Um, but just before we get into the defenders, Dave, I wanted to ask you three. A little, a little game, a little quiz question. So there are seven football players, uh, Premiership players, who have played for seven or more Premiership sides, okay? And I'm going to give you a name, and we're going to go around, and you're going to give me the clubs that they played for. All seven? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Might just be one or none. I knew so... I shouldn't have come round here. <laughs> <laughs> you know your brain's going to get work, John. Uh, so we'll start with Dave. We'll go Dave, John, JB, and just keep going until we've, we've got none left. Um, so let's go the first one Craig Bellamy Newcastle oh where's my there is yep I was going to say then uh, Man City Man City yep Liverpool Liverpool yep wow. Dave Coventry Coventry yeah John I've got a feeling he might have played for Birmingham he didn't you're out John I'm afraid oh, you're frozen out God. JB Norwich no Dave, if you get it, you've won. I've won anyway, haven't I? No. Oh. You need a winner. <sighs> Otherwise, it's a draw. I'm going to have to just guess. Mm. I would have said Norwich. I've got a funny bit. Is that I, your I, I used to get him muddled up with Joel, uh, Huckabee. Darren Huckabee. Darren Huckabee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's just go for Blackburn. Blackburn, yeah. Oh, hey. So, Dave, one point. I've got I've got some more of them, but we'll do them later you, on, you eh? Are going to tell us who else he played for? Oh, yeah, we'll do. Uh, he played for West Ham and Cardiff oh, in the no, Premier League. I remember at Cardiff. Yeah. Oh. So, there are more of them to come, but it's a little oh, bit of fun. Right. Dave won nil. nil. Right. <laughs> now, the reason we didn't go 4-4-2 on the previous team because the full-backs were average at best. But I think this team, this team has got good full-backs. So, I suggest we go for a 4-4-2. What do you think? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I think there's enough defenders, uh, English, whatever, British defenders, yeah. Could right. We, could we do the defence and then see, go from there? Like four at the back and then sort of play around a bit after that? Yeah, we've we, mm. we we put one in. We can take him out if you know things don't work okay. out. But I thought we'd go for the two full backs next. Yeah. Okay? So we start with the right-sided players... Well, we got Lee Dixon. No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not from me. Oh. That must be a better one than that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your opinion on Dixon then? Um, oh, he was good. He, he was he, a good Premiership right back, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he was steady. But oh, do you think he, he was helped did. by the back four, the famous back four? Yeah, but he yeah. was a quarter of it. I mean, yeah. Oh, I know, but that's what I mean. If if you took him, sorry, planes going over as well. Um, if um, if you put him in an average back. With another three, yeah, you wouldn't. He wouldn't have got England caps as many England caps if he wasn't playing in the Arsenal back four. I don't think he got that many anyway. I think he would have got a lot more if Gary Never had been around. I, I, think, well, I thought then, he was top class right back, Mazil. Never let us down, did he? So you're Apart, saying probably scored that own goal after about thirty. <laughs> <seconds. You're laughs> you... Neville's a better right back than Dixon then. Just, but you, yeah. I think, I think. Um, if you're comparing the two, I think Gary Neville gave you that it, that horrible edge, mm. that horrible edge yeah. where he could he Nasty. could kick, yeah yeah, yeah. he stop you getting through no matter what. Yeah. It's right. he get a yellow, he get you know, he, which I hated yes. him as a player, but as a pundit, I quite like him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Gary Kelly, Leeds Republic of Ireland. He was a good player. I don't think he fulfilled his potential. Played at a good team though. That Leeds team was good yeah. when he was there. Did he take the but, free kicks and stuff Leeds, as well? No, mm-hmm. that was the other bloke. Oh, yeah. Back. Yeah. Then yeah, yeah I, I think with Kelly, he was one of them full backs that was better going forward than defending. He seemed to always be going up. Had a good engine, didn't he? Really he was always up and down. Yeah. But you don't think he's going to be good enough to. 
He's not one of them names that sparks a no. yeah a place. Right, Gary Neville. He's got to be a, a possible, won't he? Yeah, I think the stuff he won with Man United all them years. Does that I count? Know, I mean, have... is that is that a do you pick players who just won more cups than other players? Well, I think if you're playing for Man United with Ferguson and you're in the team year in, year out, you can't be bad because I don't think if he weren't a top no. player, he would have been getting in that team. No, they'd have changed him, wouldn't they? They'd have um, added him and booked someone else. Yeah, but you just yeah, said the true. opposite for Lee Dixon. Lee Dixon only got England caps because he was playing in a good Arsenal defence. But sorry, Neville got England caps because he was playing in a good team. And so yeah. in a good team for all them years. Yeah, I think with Man United, they, they weren't like Arsenal. I think if Man United could get a better right back, they would would have done. They was always oh, no, he's on good. the market. I'm, 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 but I'm I just... think Arsenal were a team that just settled on their team and, and that was it. I don't think Arsenal were always looking for to improve that much. Where Man United over the years would always buy the one or two top players that to, to keep them going. Yeah, I mean, he was there a long time, wasn't he? He was there in Euro 96, wasn't he? Yeah. So he's a strong possible. Yeah. Uh, Trent Alexander Arnold, who last see not the season just finished the season before looked out of this world, didn't he? He was fantastic. I think as a as an attacking fullback, yes. But do I think he can defend? No. Could you see Thierry Henry running at him? And uh, I don't think there'd be any contest. He is quite fast and athletic, though, wouldn't he? Yeah, free right, kicks. Say, yeah, uh, great. I think he's free kicks, he's dead ball, he's crossing if you want. He's, but I don't think he's the best defender. I think if you're having wing backs, then I think he's a, a definite possibility. Yeah. But personally, I don't think he's a, a defender. Okay. Yeah, he covers a lot of ground, but when you when you need somebody to stand in the pocket and block yeah, that player, and, he's, and, not, as you say, yeah. he's not that player. Well, oh, the opposite of that, John... Is the next bloke who, unbelievably, I don't know if he's injured, he's not in the England squad behind the four right backs, is Juan Bissaka. Because I've never seen anybody go past no. him. Nobody okay. does. So why is he in the England team? He's got them elastic legs, hasn't he? Yeah. You, know, <laughs> yeah. you know, you, you think he's he past him and suddenly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's a bit mm. of a mystery, isn't it? I don't. Yeah. He's. All, I've always. Any game I've seen him in, he's played well. And I, I think it's because he, he's just. That's what it is. He's just. Um, there, do you know what I mean? He, yeah. It's like kind of weird to say that. Yeah, I can't understand Southgate. He picks four right backs. Why didn't he just pick five? <laughs> he's been waking him up in the morning saying, oh, hello, uh, it's good news. There's four f- right backs in England squad, but you're not one of them. I mean, it's beyond belief. I think the thing that lets him down is his end result, if you want the, the final ball. The cross. So he's the, the opposite of Trent Alexander Arnold. He's the opposite. If you can put them together. Yeah. I think you'd have a perfect right back. Okay. That's a good point, yeah. Carl Walker. We used to know all about him, John, Tottenham boy. Again. Uh, Was you gay uh, when he went? Um, a little bit, because I didn't see anyone coming in behind him. We had uh, <laughs> uh, Carl Walker, Peter Walkers. And, yeah, uh, then you go to Southampton. Yeah. Uh, um, again, an unbelievable pace. Um Good shot. Yeah, does he defend and does he is his final ball there? I'm not convinced. I don't think he could defend as good as Wambasaka, and his you know his final ball was not as good as uh, Trent Alexander Arnold. But the overall package is probably better than both, isn't it? Yes, yeah, of the, of the two, yeah. strong, and he can uh, jump in the old centre half. He can go to centre half, yeah. yeah. I mean, when we talk about Juan Bissaka, not many people going past him. I think if I was playing football, I'd rather play against Juan Bissaka than Cole Walker. I mean, I was at that final the other week, and Pulis said you ain't slow. Had like a five-yard start, and we're thinking he's one, he's clear on goal here. And somehow Walker has recovered and caught him up and just took the ball off him. He's, he's just recovery runs. His pace, he gets up and down. Um, no, I've always been a sort of a liker of his as a footballer. I'm always glad when Chelsea play City and they decide to rest him like they did in that. In that but do you see him getting in front of Gary Neville? I think he'd be sort of touch and go because I think Walker offers a bit more going forward than, it, than Neville yeah. did. Okay. 
Right, we're going to go through the left-sided players now. We're going to start with Leighton Baines. Now, he's a good attacking player, isn't he? Yeah. Free kicks, yeah. penalties. And he, he can defend. He's very similar to Chilwell, isn't he, really? David? Yes, very yeah. similar. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Baines was very accurate. Crosses, free kicks. You know, he... he he was so dangerous when he went forward. If you give him time to get a cross in, he did yeah. normally pick a good really one. Really good player. I he think. stood out in that team, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Is he still there? I he, think he, he retired, retired last year. Oh, did last he? Year or this year. But we think we might find someone better. Yeah, I think so. Definitely. Wayne Bridge, your old mate, John. John Terry's friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I'm... I, I never sort of rated him too much at Chelsea. I thought he flattered to deceive, to be honest with you. He was a, he, he was a decent going forward. Scored that wonderful goal yeah, at Arsenal. Yeah, I was just about to say there, Ivory, but, yeah, uh, killed Arsenal. I just him. thought, I mean, problem with him at Chelsea was he's, like, we had Ashley Cole at the same time, so I don't know why we bought sort of Wayne Bridge or didn't sell him once we got Cole, because Cole was a different class. Yeah, yeah. OK, Wayne Bridge. Yeah, right. he, he didn't sort of um, again. I think he just he was just there. I think mean, he just, he didn't. He's not flair player. He doesn't. He didn't really get up and down the line that much. And he was just he was just consistently sticking in the position he'd yeah. do a job. No one of yours, John Graham or so. Yeah, he's uh, one of my boys' favourite. When you talk about area, Rose Graham or so, my boy was a mascot when he was nine, and Ma- and Le- 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 so was playing so. So looked after him before the game and on the pitch, and always liked him as a footballer. Probably weren't ain't going to be in this team. I wouldn't have thought, but I was always happy when he was left back at Chelsea back in the day. But, he's got some um, England caps, hasn't he? Oh yeah, yeah. He scored that good goal against Brazil at Wembley, didn't he? Mm. Got his chest mm. to then sort of hit it. Yeah. Did he have the punch up with Batty? Blackburn Newcastle was that him? Blackburn, wasn't it? No, Black- oh, yeah, Blackburn. Yeah, 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 Blackburn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Newcastle was Bowyer and Dyer, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I think he was. Um, he, as I said, better than Wayne Bridge. Sorry, better than Wayne Bridge. Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd rather have the soda than Wayne Bridge. Yeah. Him and Dixon used to have a little bit of a tussle, yeah, didn't they? they? Like I think other. there was a testimonial or one of the charity games where they had a little bit of a <laughs> and seeming had to come over and go. This is a charity game, lads. Come on, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> So yeah, quite a fiery lad for, for for someone who was next to nothing, but but not scared to put a boot in. That, nah. That's yeah. He he, he was he, he covered a lot of ground, but when it came to tackling and getting involved, he didn't mind that, and that's what I liked about him. Right, one of the old guards, Stuart Pierce. What do you think of him, JB? Uh, he was still in his pump in '96, and the Premier League started in '92, so he again, qualifies. Uh, I would have said really, really good left back, you know, run through a brick wall. Um, again, free Hard as kick, nails, yeah, 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 free mm. kicks, corners, you know, dead balls, yeah. Um, maybe the final pass, you know, as a. So he could defend, couldn't he? he? Oh, yeah, he could defend, yeah. You would think of him, but to me, there's still there's one left back that just stands head and shoulders above the rest. The iconic thing is the penalty, yeah. isn't it? The England yeah. penalty, the, yeah. the I was reaction. That game. I was yeah, the, the yeah. celebration and that. Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, that, that took some bottle yeah. to, to stand up again and, and, you know, after missing a penalty, uh, to stand up and, and, yeah. and put your hand up and take another one. Being in the stadium, when he went up, we were all going, oh, no. <laughs> like, you're just thinking, please don't miss. He, he yeah. commit suicide tonight if he yeah. misses this one. But he smashed it in, and then you just see the like I mean, on it, the blood relief. was coming out yeah. of his eyes. I yeah. don't know, his veins were like out yeah. here, weren't they? Yeah. He was like it was amazing. Re- it's, it just felt like relief yeah. for not not just him, but the nation. Yeah, the nation like, yeah, yeah, like it was. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. redemption, wasn't it? Yeah, shame Southgate could never redeem <laughs> missing that bloody penalty. Uh, yeah, in the Euros. But. Yeah. Right, Adam Robertson of uh, Liverpool. A decent full back him. Yeah, I like him. I think he's got. I think he's got everything going forward, tackling. I think in the modern game, he's he's up there, definitely. Oh, he was great last, the season before last, when he with the mm. two fullbacks and the uh, Van Dyke at the back. I mean, yeah. they were fantastic. Well, it's like I don't know who it was, David, <laughs> that said to you that um, when we got um, who's had that, um, who's had left back, the Scottish bloke. Tierney. Tierney, Tierney yeah. yeah, sorry. And when we got him, you said that he's... He... Yeah, Scotland got two good players, they're both left back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, well, 
But yeah, I, I really like him. Modern game, I think he's. But he does he's get injured there. like Tierney. The Tierney gets injured a lot. Yeah, which is a shame. He's a good player, though. Yeah. But it, interesting with Robertson, when you say he ain't had the best of years, is that because Van Dyke's been injured? Because Possibly. As his weaknesses, same with Trent Alexander, yeah. as their weaknesses yeah. being showed up because they haven't got someone who could play. Who cover it all the time. Yeah. That's well, a good point. Because Liverpool, going forward, when Van Dyke got injured, Liverpool just fell apart, yeah. didn't they? Yeah. But they lost Van Dijk and Gomez at sort of the yeah. same time, wasn't it? And then Matip. Matip, he went yeah, out. Then, yeah, so. I mean, it, when you watch them play and you, you know when Van Dijk's playing, it's it's they're playing well and you think, oh, yeah. But then it shows how good he actually is when he's not there. Yeah. Yeah. And and it does fall apart. It's amazing, really, that one player can have such an impact. I'll take it to be back for the start of next season, will not uh, Yeah, I think so, yeah. OK, finally, yeah. well, not finally, but... Uh, Ben Chilwell, he's a good, he's a good player, isn't he? He must yeah, like he's decent. It. I think the manager's got a bit more out of him than Lampard. When Lampard was there, it seemed like Chilwell just jogged up and down the pitch. Where now, he's like sprinting up and down the pitch. He's playing at you know a higher tempo. But I think probably to be in this team, it's a bit too early days. I mean, what is he? Twenty three, twenty four. He's hopefully he's got his best. The best is yet to come. I hope so. Yeah, but he certainly played well in that Champions League final. OK, right, right. the standout one we've all been waiting for, Cashley Cole, or Ashley Cole. He was a great player, for, wasn't he? For me, he's the best I've seen at left-back. Yeah. Yeah, because he had everything. He could defend. Yeah. He had a bit of attitude. Yeah. He could yeah. go yeah. forward. He had, a, he had an engine. He could get upwards. He could get out in the back. I think he was the, the best I've seen against Ronaldo. I was going to say that. You he, know, he, he, he had him in his pocket Ronaldo. all the time. And, and, you know, you've got to be some player to do that. And what makes you know that he is a great player is when he left Arsenal to go to Chelsea, how much they hated him. Because the hatred was mm. the yeah. sense yeah. of gut, you know, I'm yeah. gutted, but he's gone, you know. And it's, uh, and he, and to go from Arsenal where he was, you know, really, you know, constant left back, at always, always uh, consistent, um, sc- scored a couple of goals as well. But then to go to Chelsea and take it up to that level, you know, it just, Amazing. You, you just thought, oh, he can't get any better, and then all of Always a sudden... Always played well for England. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I mean, I think Arsenal, when they left Arsenal, I think they still thought they was all right, because they had Gal Clichy, didn't they? Who they thought was a... Yeah, but Gal Clichy's got limited it. Yeah. Gal Clichy, he never took it. He, it like Ashley Cole came he was a bit as a youngster. Yeah. Mm. And Ashley Cole, uh, for a small player, could really... Kick and be kicked, you know what I mean? Getting amongst it, and I like that about players. Yeah, his foot was always there, tapping yeah, always getting in. Some, I think some players are too scared to kind of, you know, they'll just usher them rather than getting in there and making them, you know, the ball bobble away or whatever, you know, just usher them out. And and I think that a lot of goals, mistakes by defenders are made that way. But he's a, he's about one of the best I've seen. He was happy to be one on one with a right winger, wasn't he? Yeah, it wasn't like you feel, God, we could better get, we better double up here. Like you he know, embraces it. Even That's with it. Ronaldo, you know, he, the times he just sort of played against Ronaldo and Ronaldo, you could see the frustration that he just couldn't get past this. And it must have been in his head all the time, the one bloke I can't get past is Ashley Cole. Yeah. And, um, no, I mean, just I've seen him play for Arsenal at Chelsea a few times and when he overlapped, he just, he was running at a different speed to sort of, certainly the Chelsea players at the time. Yeah. Uh, good player. OK, so actually Cole's looking good for the left-back spot. Yeah, for me, yeah. Right, I've got a bit of a curveball to throw in there. Because oh. I think I've got another great player, and that's Dennis Irwin. Dennis Irwin was a fantastic player, and I think he could play right or left. I actually, uh, He's not going to get in front of Ashley Cole, but I reckon he could get in front of Gary Neville at right back. I he think he was that him. good. Well, I, it was... He was right-footed anyway. Yeah, I know. But, but he could play, he'd, he'd play left yeah. back most of the time for. But I mean, he could he could defend as good as yeah. anyone. He was great going forward, free kicks, crosses, scored the odd goal, penalties. So, what do you think about Dennis Irving? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I always thought he's a top player. It, it reminds me of the Lam was it at Bayern Munich? He was that kind of player, yeah, 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 sort of yeah, steady, yeah, two-footed, didn't matter where he played him. And I guess he was a manager's dream that he was. He, you felt that whatever the manager told him to do, he could just do it and wouldn't need to be sort of told again and told again. But uh, no, good player. I'm not sure I'd put him in 
in front of the, the other two right backs. Um, but he must have a chance. What do you think, John? Yeah, that's a shame. It, it, I think they used to say he was Mr. Consistent at Man United. Mm, yeah. He was like eight out of ten every, every week. week, every you know. Um, so yeah, if he can't get in as a left back, then he's got a really good shout as a right back. Do you think that he, because he, he played obviously early earlier Premiership than Ashley Cole? Do you think that the game was a little bit different? Like he didn't need to cover as much ground as Ashley Cole would, or? But he covered as much ground as he had to cover in the game. Yeah, yeah I'm played. just, yeah. I'm just curious to see because you, you put them side by side and you think, well, that he played in where he had, you know, you're at the back, you're the right back or left back, and you're, you've got to stop that player from yeah. getting down the wing. You're not thinking about, you know, I can get crosses in, and no, I can, you know. I think with Irwin, he probably had gigs in front of him, and then True. probably didn't need to get forward quite so much. Mm. Um, with a, as you say, in the modern day. It, it, encouraged it, 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 yeah, they were full backs come wing backs and, and therefore they you know, tended to get forward a bit more but when you compare with Ashley Cole shall we compare him with the right back position with, yeah. with Carl Walker compare, we, could he yeah. compete with Carl Walker I think he's or, a much better player than Carl Walker. Walker I think he's much better it's, I think he's up against Gary Neville I think that's the straight choice for me would you put Neville and Walker, who would be your choice at them two, JB? Oh, I don't know. I mean, uh, probably Carl Walker, just for the fact that he, he his pace, his recovery pace. So would you put yeah. Carl Walker in front I of would, Gary? I Neville would as well? just stage Carl Walker. Yeah, I think I would. I would put him Carl Walker in front of the other two. Well, I, I'd go Gary Neville on that. Who would you go for out of them two? Um. I would go Gary Neville as well, just because I, I suppose, I don't know. Walker doesn't strike me as the. In my head, Gary Neville was so consistent. He was, you know, season in, season out, and and I mean, you say about Walker's recovery stuff, but I I see him as more of a getting forward and and you know making making runs and it. I just think that Gary Neville as a right back is just, I thought he's solid. I, I'm quite surprised. The fact that he, I hated him. I'm quite surprised that Carl Walker is so highly rated mm. by the two Johns. Do you think you don't rate him so highly because he doesn't play every week and, and Man City have that rotation policy? Well, if he was that good, he would play every week, wouldn't he? Do they? You know, they've got that, they asked the centre-half, you know, and they've dropped him. They, they they dropped Edison, you know. It doesn't really matter who they are. They dropped De Bruyne. It seems to be that you know that that rotation policy for Man City. It, you could be anybody, Aguero. How many times have yeah, you played? Yeah, he's not the same. Yeah, but you can always tell when the best eleven when the big games come around. He's always picked in the big games, isn't he? Um, I think we, what we need to do. We got three players here. We've all got to vote for one player and hope that one of them gets. <laughs> it needs to be split, doesn't it? So the three players, Dave. Just... Oh, well, we've got Dennis Irwin, Cole Walker, and Gary Neville. When I started going, I'll, I'm going to go for Dennis Irwin. So, John, who are you going for? I'll, I'll stick with Walker. I mean, I think Walker. Well, Walker's in there, don't matter. Oh, unless you say Dennis Irwin as well. Um, no, I would go for Walker because of the pace. I don't think Irwin had the pace. So Walker's in the team. So our fullbacks are Walker and Cole. Well, they are, aren't they? Yeah, for me, yeah. yeah. Ashley Cole's definitely, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, Ashley Cole's a given, yeah, I, I think so. OK, that's done then. Fullbacks are in. God. Dave just marking that up. And while he's doing that, I'm going to announce the next player. We're going to say the teams. Right. Can I have a look at the answers? Uh, you can have a look afterwards, John. <laughs> uh, so we'll start with JB this time. We'll go that way. Um, so it is um, Peter Crouch. Dolly Jamlet. <laughs> Tottenham Hotspurs. Yep. John. Live if you. Yep. Dave. Burnley. Burnley, yep. JB. Oh, Christ. Portsmouth Portsmouth yep bloody hell I was going to say John Stoke Stoke yep there's only two left Dave 
Oh, that's right. He can't come back to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm stumped here. I guess it's just put in a name. England so don't count. <laughs> went somewhere and they'd never played him. Hint, hint. Southampton. Yep. One oh. left, JB. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One more, JB. Uh, oh. uh, it's got to be a team near the bottom. West Brom. No. John? Oh, I've got to say someone. Well, oh, yeah. That's it for me. Um... <laughs> you stop thinking, hadn't you? <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh... I'm going to have to push you, John. QPR. No. Dave? He did play for QPR, though, didn't he? Yeah. He played in the Championship. Uh, oh. Palace. No. Is it Burnley? No, we, we said, said Burnley. Burnley. Dave said oh. Burnley, yeah. Uh, the last one was Villa. Aston Villa. Oh. Burnley. Can't remember him playing. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, no points at that time. Afraid. Didn't get there. Right, we are looking for two centre halves. Okay. So. Where are we looking? In the garden? So we start off with uh, one of the old timers, Steve Bruce. Never played for England, which is amazing, isn't it? Probably for the for the team he played in. If you especially think with Pallister got Pallister got in, didn't yeah, he? If you think of that, how successful he was, I think that thing that let him down was the pace, lack of pace. I think he's tough as old boots. Could head a ball, could you know get stuck in, but I think if someone went past him, he weren't going to catch it back up. He had the nose of a defender, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Steve Bruce, John? No. Yeah, decent defender, but I wouldn't have thought he was he would be top of the list. I don't really remember him as a player, if I'm honest, a bit before my... I, mean, I think he's one of them that was a good partnership with Pallister, yeah. probably like yeah, the Arsenal right. back four, when you look, talked about them, they were just a good unit. If you put them as individuals, you say, well, he's a great player, but as a unit, and it was the same as Patterson and Bruce. But he, he was a competitor, wasn't he? Yeah, he yeah, he wanted to win, yeah. and he yeah. had yeah. goals where he used to go up there to be in the two against Sheffield Wednesday late on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Skipper Adams. Tony Adams. Was it Tony Adams, John? Yeah, he was top player, wasn't he, really? I think everyone called him the donkey and that, and then Wenger came in. And said to him, you're, you're a footballer as well. And all of a sudden, you could see what a good footballer he was. You know, and I think no one's ever going to forget that that goal when they won the league against forget, Everton when oh, he yeah. sort of powered forward and smashed it. Bold to Adams, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. pass through. Yeah. Steve Bold. Yeah. Um, no, I would have thought he's got to be one of the top centre halves we've ever had. I've, I think he's got to be on the list. So you reckon he'd put it down as a possible? He, he would do it, on my opinion. Put it down yeah. as a possible, JB? I'd say a possible. You know, I can think of a few that are possibly okay. better ball players than him, but maybe not have the will to win that he had. OK. Yeah. It did feel like when... You didn't like him, did you? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> um, I, I, it did feel like um, he was sort of coming to the end and then Wenger came in and just sort of injected him again with, uh, I don't know, whatever he did and he just... Made him into this, and and to win the league in ninety eight, he was just amazing to think that um, with you know everything we know that he was going on in the background as well with the drinking and that that he came in and just sort of turned it around. I think he's made. There's a reason. There's a the statue outside the Emirates of him. You know. Yeah, I, I spoke to him once at a coach's night, and it was just so slim. And this is a couple of years after Wenger's come along, and I said to him like, "What's it like now?" He said, the training, is, he says, we just go out and do stretches now. He don't even need to tell us. He said, when he first come, he's got us doing these stretches and all these. He said, like, me and Baldy are only here to kick Burkamp at training. Like, that's all we do. <laughs> he's got us running around and doing these stretches. But he said, he's, he's put another few years on my career. But he really he must have stopped drinking as well. He just looked a tall, slim, sort of proper footballer. Yeah, he turned his whole life around, didn't he? Yeah. It's football. Incredible, really, yeah. Okay, John, your favourite, Sol Campbell. Uh, again, I think he's a, a very good centre-half. Um, 
obviously leaving Tottenham to go to Arsenal. Um, you can say it, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can say it. Um, I, I think it probably took a lot of guts from his side uh, for the abuse that he actually got. Oh, it was over know. the top there. Yeah, sure. absolutely over the top, yeah. But... But as um, John was the same as Ashley Cole, wasn't it? It's Ashley Cole. You know, we knew what such a good player he was, and that's why it hurt so much that he's actually gone to your rivals. Well, I think mm. we've and, and for nothing. more of a rival with an Arsenal, Chelsea, or Tottenham, Chelsea. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was a bit North worse. London and yeah. a couple of miles apart. Yeah. And, I mean, can you think yeah. of many players that that have done that? Is it? Are there more players that have done that? Gone from Arsenal, Spurs. Well, I Spurs think Arsenal. I think it hurts more when the fella runs his contract. Down, yes. goes to your rivals for nothing, no, nothing and he's yeah, still yeah. a top player. Yeah, it's different when you say back in our day, was it George Graham went from one to the other? Chelsea, Arsenal, yeah, oh, well, well, you got Tommy Baldwin the Joey, same deal. Yeah, Jimmy Robertson, Jimmy went Robertson. From, but they, that was back in the day. There weren't all this hate around then. It was just football, like you know. But they weren't, you know, when Jimmy Robertson went, you never felt, oh, he's a, he's our best player, he's our star. No. And, and, and he, he's gone for nothing. <laughs> like, like Campbell was their best player. Yeah, probably. He was their yeah, best nothing. player. Yeah, and in his prime. You know, and your captain, was he? Uh, he was a captain at the time, I think, yeah. Oh, it's all them aspects, isn't it? It's, 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 uh, I mean, it was But exciting. he was a top centre-half, you know. Yeah. He, had, he had pace and... He yeah. scored a lot of goals for you, didn't he? Uh, he did, yeah. yeah. Mm. I can remember one. he scored one for England. I think it was a golden goal at the time, and it was disallowed. Um, he scored the goal against Argentina, didn't he? Yeah, yeah that's what I say, yeah, yeah, it was the golden goal. We was all celebrating, jumping up and down, and they was taking a free kick and, and running up the other end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the old Argies picked up the ball and carried yeah, on. Yeah, carried on, yeah. yeah. By yeah. The corner I, I thought it was a perfectly good goal. Yeah, so yeah. Did He I. didn't touch the keeper, he didn't, you know. That's the penalty game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he's a possible as well. Oh, I think he's a possible. Yeah. Jamie Carragher. I hate Jamie Carragher. <laughs> I really do. I mean, yeah, in the game, he's you know, he was again Mister Consistency. Was in the in the team. I, I just think he was in the team at the right time. I don't think he gave you. Uh, I mean, he puts his boot in and that, but I don't think he's got that much pace. when Thierry Henry screwed him into the ground? Yeah, he yeah. Right. Right. He past him and he just kept round and round. I don't well, think he's got... I don't think he... Well, what about the really time Zola had done it in his last game yeah, for Chelsea? Right, yeah, he'd done it as well, but... I think he's somebody you put in when somebody's injured. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's why he left the England to set up, wasn't it? Yes. Because he kept travelling, not yeah. getting a game. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he weren't as good as the others that were playing, really, and... Probably nothing worse than being third or fourth choice centre half. Yeah. You just you never get in the game. Uh, he's yeah, not an impact player. I don't think he's got that. Spark. He doesn't get in in front of the other no. two. Okay. Right. right, one without injuries could have been up the top of all time. John is your old friend Ledley King. He was good, wasn't he? Very good, yeah. yeah Considering he hardly ever trained. Yeah, a, a, a bit like um, Van Dyke. I thought a bit. You just used to sort of. You know, go through games and, you know, didn't really see him. He didn't, you know. Uh, he, he seemed effortless, he didn't he? He seemed effortless. Yeah, he, he seemed did. to be, yeah. He seemed to be like a bit like a Rolls Royce when he was like, you know. But I think the injuries, you never ever see the best of him. And, no, and, in, in five games, out five yeah. games, in five games. Yeah. Shame. Yeah. At the time, we're speaking to Spurs mate, uh, Spurs fans that were mates to saying, you know, you could tell that it was a quite a big, you know, they were gutted to, that he mm. had to retire, mm. you know, as a real kind of, they saw him as leading the line, you know, for for years to come, but yeah, unfortunately. But was he a better player because he was injured all the time? Because I remember when I used to play him when I was injured, God, when are you going to be back fit, John? We're really missing you. When I was playing, they, they called him a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> when someone's injured, you know, are they a better player <laughs> than what they actually are? Because people think, oh, we miss Yeah, because we they're miss not him. there, yeah. Every time you lose a game, oh, if we had Lidley playing a day or so and so, we'd have been all right. That's but a fair point, yeah. I think what you mean. Sort of, uh, when he you're played injured, in the you're same team player. as Campbell, must have done, must he? I think at the, right at the early days, yes. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. They would have been two centre arms, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, but then I think as sort of Campbell left, I think Ledley was then sort of coming through a little bit more. Mm. But, but both of the, the Cole Campbell things they were justified didn't they because Campbell left you and won stuff with us and that was what it's all about and when Cole left he won stuff with Chelsea yeah. so you could say they both made the right decision yeah. Yeah. yeah it's when players leave and you think and they're going you think what 
nothing happened for you. Sanchez is the is the I suppose the oh you went to it yeah I mean he was a golden boy when he was and then went to United. Yeah, it's funny how what you happened? fit in a place and don't fit somewhere yeah. else. I mean, round peg, square yeah. hole, wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 So, do you reckon he could be a possible, or do you reckon the injuries? I think like, the injuries for me, no. Okay. Now, what about uh, Bruce's old mate? Already mentioned Gary Pallister. Again, uh, yeah, good centre half, but he he struggled with injuries, didn't he? Bit limited, wasn't he? Compared to the other blokes we've talked about. Yeah, yeah, I would say so, yeah. No, not for you, John? Yeah, not for me. Decent, though. He's a good player. Right, now, probably the best footballing centre-half we've had the last 30 years, Rio Ferdinand. He was good, wasn't he? Yeah, he was good, Rio, yeah. He, he was probably like when JB said about Ledley King, Rio had that turn of pace. If he did yeah. get caught, he could run yeah. back and he could play it from the back. I mean, it'd be interesting if he played for England today with with the three centre halves they play. What he'd be like as that player coming out from the back and he'd be too old. He's a he? proper player. <laughs> yeah, <might> be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did have. A, he had a good touch, didn't he? You felt like he was always in control of the ball. Yeah. It was. Yeah. It was solid in that respect. In the modern in the modern game now, where they do play out from the back, he'd be perfect for that, wouldn't he? He scored well, many goals at the other end, did he? I don't know why. I mean, you think of Terry, no, Terry and Adams, they scored goals, yeah. didn't they? Palace, the Bruce, yeah, they scored goals. Yeah, he never used to get up for a corner. He always went team, up, but he never yeah. seemed to do anything yeah. when he was up there. He scored that goal for England, didn't he? I can't remember when it was. Oh, it might have been in the world. But Cup most centre halves are like yeah. that, Dave, don't they? I mean, I remember Michael Turner speaking to him saying, like, Why do you go up for corners? Because you never seem to get in an area where you score. Because, you, you know, like the ball goes one place, you somehow go somewhere else. <laughs> you know, you're going up there to try and score, but you never do. But with Rio, he, he's, he's best mates with the manager at Dully Jam, isn't he? Yeah, Gavin Rose. Yeah, so when I was at Dully Jam doing the under-18s, we'd we done a pre-season, uh, some trials, and Gavin come along and brought a load of kids from this club that Rio was part of. And, and Rio was there that day and Gavin was like doing the trials and I'm sitting here with Rio talking to him and that's when he signed for Leeds. I said, how comes you never, because Chelsea apparently were in for him. I said, why didn't he go to Chelsea? He said, I was in a lot of trouble and had to get out of London. Oh, okay. He sort of said it was best for me for my career to get out of London and play somewhere else. And, and what a career he had. Yeah. yeah. So he's definitely down as a possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Well, this is going to be quite difficult because we've got another really good one now. You know all about him, John, John Terry. Yeah, it reminds me of Adams. In his no, late, they're, they're in, very similar, yeah, aren't they? But in his later years, he seemed to slim down and seemed to be a better player than what he was when he first when he first started. I mean, I thought he was slow. And I, I couldn't make out why one rated him because I didn't think he was that great defensively because when they got past him, he never caught them up. But he just... Got fitter and fitter and fitter as his career went More on. More experienced. Um, yeah. But he could pass with two feet. Scored goals. Uh, scored, well, he's probably our top goal scorer for a centre-half, <laughs> yeah. I'd have thought. Um, yeah. Whenever he he scored some big goals for us and all. Yeah. He scored 41 goals for Chelsea yeah. in the Premier League. Yeah. And that, that might give him the edge over Adams, to be fair. Yeah. Because Adams scored 34. Right. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought Adams would have got that many. Got so Campbell only got 20 in 504 games. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you got more than that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I thought so, yeah. It was all disallowed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You rate John Terry, didn't John? Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, he'd be one of my, my top defenders, yeah. I think. I always remember the uh, where he, there's a I can't remember where, what game it was, but where he's sort of defending, and he's sort of falling over, and he sort of just chucks his head, Thro- throws yeah. his head in the yeah, way. Yeah, he the bloke's about to shoot, and he just yeah. chucks I his head in the way. I, mean, I don't know if it's brave or stupid. <laughs> that sums it up, doesn't it? I always remember Diaby kicked him in the face as well. Do you remember that? Oh, oh, on the goal line, yeah. yeah. We just. Out. And he still come back for the <laughs> celebrations, apparently. <laughs> then he like, Lamp Parcel got in the dressing room. John Terry was sitting there waiting for us to come back in. I wonder um, why he settles for the old number two job at Villa and he hasn't sort of gone off to be a manager on his own. That's yeah, a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah. Been there a few years now, hasn't he? Yeah, he's been there longer than what I thought. Yeah, and, I mean... Um, was it Derby with Lampard for a while? No, he didn't go Derby. It was Jody Morris, wasn't it, I think? Was it? Oh, right. 
Yeah, I'm surprised that, you know, with his uh, reputation and stature yeah. in the game, that someone ain't took a chance on him. Mm. Yeah, maybe they compare him with Lampard, because Lampard's a well-educated person and, and maybe speaks a bit better, I don't know. But whether John Terry or ever, I mean, he's, he's always said his ambition is to manage Chelsea, but you never know. You have three or four years of number two, do you end up a better manager than, say, Lampard, who went straight into it, and two years down the line, he's he's got his top job. A year and a half later, he's out of a job, and, you know, where's he going to go now? Um, right. Sorry, uh, we've got a really hard choice now because we've got four really, really good centre-halves here. We've got to pick two. So I think we should just go around the table and pick air two and see if someone gets more marks than the others. OK? Yeah. Yeah. So, John, who's your two centre-halves? Um, well, I think Rio has to come in because he's totally different to the other three. Yeah. Um, I would definitely plant for Terry. Yeah, me too. They're my two. Terry okay. and Ferdinand. Yeah, yeah. Well, I oh, see. This is really difficult for me because I, I because you're biased, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I, <laughs> I want to pick Campbell and Adams, but when you, when you, that's too biased. That is it? No, no. But I, 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 I want to pick them because I, you know, I have a they're Arsenal players, and I, I absolutely adore them. But when you, when you look at what they bring to the team, when you've got, you know, you, Terry does what Adams does. But with Terry more, Adams, more legs. Very Terry's. Players. I think Terry had the more had the legs. Like John said, as he went on, he didn't lose that. He sort of he sort of gained it as he went. Um, and Ferdinand, as you say, is different from everyone. So I I think I've got to agree with John, the the Ferdinand and Terry. The way I see it is, uh, out of the four, the one you should definitely pick is Ferdinand because he he's your ball player. He's different to the yeah, other three. Yeah. So you pick one to go. And for me. Terry or Adams is a toss of a coin. And as soon as you have gone for Terry, I'm happy also to go for Terry and Ferdinand. Okay? Yeah. We're happy yeah. with that? Yeah. Oh, is that what you yeah, no, Oh, all right. right. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's the heart and the head kind of thing, isn't it? It's, but, that, but that is, you know, Ferdinand's a given. The ball playing, playing out from the back in the modern game as well, I think he, it would just be suiting him down to the ground. And while he's writing them down, I just wanted to ask you... Um, uh, I know we're talking about the you know the British Isles players, but I just wondered if um, you know if you think of Chelsea, John or JB, the Spurs, um, it, who 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 would you have had in your team? A player that never played in the Premiership. Who's the best player never to have played in the Premiership? Do you think? How far are you going back? Are you going back? What Premiership oh, sort of era? era. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Because there's been some monsters, isn't there, really? But what I just, are you thinking of it? Well, I'm just thinking like um, uh, so, uh, Zidane, Bruce. Ronaldinho, oh, I Ronaldo. I, mean, I thought you meant someone here yeah. before. I thought oh, you meant players of the championship who never played. Oh, with. no, no, I'm talking anywhere. You oh, know, Messi, yeah. Messi, Messi, isn't it's it? Like Messi, yeah. then, really, isn't it? Okay, so if Messi would be a given, who's, who would be... Un- oh, Zidane, uh, yeah. Zidane, uh, uh, such a shame. He d- yeah, I would have loved to have seen him in a premiership. Well, I think he would have done well, because... You could you say Messi, you know, playing in a League Cup at Rochdale in um, <laughs> in February, but have struggled a bit. But bizarre, yeah, you got that it? wrong, and all Dave, because they're saying he's Stoke on a Tuesday night. Oh, okay, so fair he enough. Got Rochdale, <laughs> and there wasn't one. Oh, I'm not going Stoke on a Tuesday night than Rochdale. But um, no offence, no offence to Rochdale. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but Zidane so was a big bloke, wasn't he? I mean, yeah. he, nothing's going to f- phase him. I think you're right. I mean, I would probably go for Johan Cruyff. After Messi, but, yeah, but he would, Johan Cruyff would he be the same as Messi. He would he be? Would, be, would he be in that Premiership era? Though, no, he? Well, so, 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 well, if you opened it up, JB, is there somebody that pops in your mind from before? Oh, I yeah. thought you said from before the Premiership. No, I said no, no, Premiership, the premiership era, era. But we'll, oh, we'll open it up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what sort I mean, of names would you would you well, have liked to have seen the top You could, you know, Pele, yeah, Cruyff, you know, Maradona. Yeah, Maradona. Can you imagine if he'd he'd come over and? I mean, but well, when you talk about amazing. it, I think like those like Zidane, possibly Maradona, would have the physique to have coped. Yeah, where maybe Cruyff and Messi might have had it a bit tough. Oh, no, I think Cruyff is all right. Actually, I watched uh, an old clip on YouTube of um, who is he playing for? Yeah, Barcelona against Aston Villa in the European Cup, mm. and he just run the game. It was about nineteen seventy-seven, and he just run the game, scored the goal. 
Cruyff was mm. special, I think. Yeah, I think, mm. yeah. Beckenbauer, he was yeah, great. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's the only player I've ever seen that had a force field around him. When he got the ball, <laughs> yeah. no one seemed to get within mm. a yard of him. He was just fantastic. Well, let's get him back to that sweeper player that could could come out could from come the back. The ball, and, no, yeah. no one used to mark. Like, you probably see it when you play like, as a sweeper. No, like, everyone used to mark everyone else apart from the sweeper. And like, So the sweeper would come through with the ball and everyone would be looking around, well, we ain't my man. He, and just like... You know, where where does it stop? When does someone say, well, someone's got to try and get to him? Yeah. And Cruyff would hurt you. <laughs> you <know? laughs> yeah. What about two great centre forwards? Uh, Gerd Muller and Van Basten. They were both great centre forwards, yeah. were they? Nothing Van else. Van Basten Just centre forwards. Yeah. I think Van Basten would have uh, held his own in that. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Muller. Muller was the yeah. size of his thighs. I mean, he was Goal fantastic. Goal wasn't he? Yeah. Just, all he was, yeah. He just, like, just scored all Average the time. Average goal a game for the internationals. Right, should we pick some midfield players then? Yeah, go for it. Right, so we're looking at four across the middle. Do you want to go wide players first? Yeah. Yeah. All right, wide players first. Bet Raheem Sterling. He's got the pace. His career is just beginning to yeah, wane to, a bit. To wane it? a bit, isn't it? Yeah. He's not being yeah, picked been, every week. And... Being talked about as bit parts in yeah. transfers and bits and pieces, in these. So... Just think. I mean, my opinion of him is, is I was happy when he got picked in the Man City team in that final the other week. So if you're a Chelsea fan, you're happy for him to get picked. He can't yeah. be up there anymore, can he? He does miss a lot, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah he's not a goal, natural goal scorer. Well, by you say that, John, but I've got his I don't think here. he misses a lot compared to when he first went to Man City. I, I think he really missed a lot when he first went yeah. to Man City, but, but then I think he started sort of taking a lot of his chances. He's made 290 appearances in the Premier League, got 96 goals and 51 assists. That's pretty impressive. He always strikes me as the sort of player that he never really seems in control of the ball. No, so his legs are sort of going yeah, his legs, mile an hour, isn't he? His and legs his are going one mile an hour. Yeah, he, I, I don't know what it is. I, I don't think he's final ball. I no. don't know. I, he's, he's very fast. I mean, I give him that. He's, yeah. he's really fast and mm. with the ball, without the ball. I just, I don't know. It just, he doesn't. I, I like players that can sort of put their boot in and, you know, I, I, he's scared of, scared of, Challenges and stuff. I don't know. I, I, he's not going to get in their team. No. Oh, right. yeah. Is that? Oh, well, is, is as, a, as a question mark. Yeah. Is he going to get in? Do you see him in this team? Uh, not for me. Definitely not. No. No. no not for Worth me. a mention. What, but what do you think of him? I, I, think, I know what you think. Of him. I, think he's, <laughs> I think he's one of the most overrated footballers I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. I just don't see it. So, so when the rumor was he was going to get transferred to Arsenal, oh, no. he was happy. No, <laughs> but then again, we're full of duds at the moment. Anyway, it'll fit in quite nicely. Uh, right, right hand side player again, Beckham, David Beckham. What do you think? So you saying overrated, Dave? I think I think David Beckham's overrated. I, I think that he's he's passing self promotion definitely uh, in the team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, mm. Shirt sales maybe. Um, I, I I just think he again. I don't. I think later on in his career, as his legs started to go, he yeah. he, he got more involved in the challenging, and he you know one kicking. thing about him, he could cross a ball. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, is absolutely cr- crosses and free kicks. He, he's your man. One no. trick, will he? Well, I can take free kicks as well. He's a two trick, will he? <laughs> <laughs> he scored sixty two goals, eight eighty eight zero assists in two hundred sixty five games in the Premier League. That's pretty, That's pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah. It is, but yeah. playing in the best team. Like yes, Sterling's yeah, playing the best yeah. team. Again, I think the one thing that let him down was pace. He, he, he wasn't someone who could actually run past someone like Sterling can with the ball. Where Sterling's going to fall over before he crosses it, you know Beckham was going to cross it. He, I think that's the difference. Absolutely. I could, I he, could he not agree more. He didn't need to beat a player, did he? He's one of them players yeah. that seemed to be able to bend the ball. Yeah. And if, if they gave him a yard or two, he, he could put it on a sixpence. Mm-hmm. Like, and well, I think the other reason he got so many assists was Man United, like when I used to watch them, they'd always have three, three. So Ferguson would obviously tell him cross it between the posts, but they'd always have three players in that area. So the chances of scoring, like I watched Chelsea, and you just got Drogba in there year in, year out. Yeah, yeah. And, and Man United would always commit three players into that area. Playing the odds. Knowing he'd yeah. put it in there all the time. You yeah. know, and how many goals he probably scored. 
coming in and ending it from six yards when you had the Cantona and the centre forward there as well. Um, no, I, I think if you're going to put him in the team, it's purely on one aspect that he could cross the football. Would you put him down as a possible to play on the right hand side, or do you think we'd find someone better? I'd say possible. Yeah, yeah so we'd like to until we find someone better, hopefully, yeah. on the list. <laughs> <laughs> what about, uh, not actually a wide player, but he always wore the number seven, Matt Letizia. What did he do? He played Premier League then, Matt. Uh, this year. Was he Premier League, was he? I thought old, we might yeah. Have, yeah, this year it was, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he played in the late 80s, but yeah. All them goals you see were all with the Premier League. Technically, a good player, wasn't he? Yeah. Do you feel, do you feel he, he should have gone? His career would have benefited. Suppose, suppose in Manchester United, instead of buying Cantona in 92, whatever it was, right at the start of the Premier League, they bought Letizia. Who do you think he would have got on there? I don't think mentally he was a winner. I mean, Chelsea tried to sign him, and he might yeah. have done all right at Chelsea because Chelsea weren't winners at the time neither. But I think he was just a, one of them great players that never had that drive. Big to fish, go, small yeah, pond. To oh, go yeah, down exactly. Down I think to say, big fish, small pond. You go the other way, small fish, big pond. Don't know. He didn't play a lot for England, did he? Did you think he, he should he, have played more for England? It, and he would have done if he was at a big club. I've no doubt about it. I mean, he could have gone... I could imagine him. You know, in Newcastle, had their good team. He could have gone there, couldn't he? He would have fitted in well yeah. with that sort of like show. You know, they had a great football team, didn't they? Do you think at, at Southampton, everyone give him the ball? It was always like, give him the ball, give him the ball, give him the ball. Yes. At a bigger club, you don't get that. You know, you get better players around you and they want the ball. But playing for yeah. Southampton, I mean, you're losing more than you're winning, yeah. I would say. 270 yeah. appearances... 100 goals, 63 assists. Mm. That is fantastic. How Playing many, for a team in the bottom half. How many penalties? He never yeah, missed did, one. Did, did. Never missed. Oh, he did one, miss one. Miss one. Cross, cross, one. cross league, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay. Or was it Pressman? Oh, was it? Yeah. I, 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 feel I, mean, penalties. Mm. Oh, I feel even though he played for Southampton, he still should have played more for it. He should have got to England and dominated the game. Like I spoke to you about yeah. Grealish yeah. the other day. Grealish ain't playing for a big club. Uh, in, when you look at winning things, but I bet you when Greenish turns up for England, he wants that ball all the time yeah. and says, I don't care who I play for, give me the ball. Where I don't think the Tissier had that mentality where he turned up for England and said, I'm the main man here, give me the ball. Which he, and he was probably technically better than every player in that yeah. bloody squad. But I don't think, I don't think, look, look at his interviews, the way the play, I don't see him getting the England team and sort of hiding away in the shadows. So I, I think he'd hold his own. I don't see no, but you, yeah. it's like them. It, it, uh, I mean, as an example, it's like one of them people that when you go around. <laughs> this is going to sound stupid, but when you go around their house, they're the life and soul. But take them out of that in mm. somebody else's house, they sort of they they're not. The corner the corner. Yeah, they'll leave early. Whereas Southampton, he had that. You know, he walked in the door. Didn't have, you know? He knew everyone's names. Yeah. He, he he was the the guy who everyone bought the shirts of and and yeah. you know, God. signing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And oh. maybe he in his mind he's built. He was building up for you know being uh, a legend at that small club. I rather think, than I think, I think he used to say that he stayed in Southampton because he's family from the Channel Islands, mm. were they? I thought it's Jersey, Jersey, was it or Guernsey? Well, you it? never know what's going. And on he was on easy flight yeah. just to go over yeah. to see his family. But, I mean, this day and age, you could have gone over from Chelsea. Well, it's, I know when Matthew Arden was at Chelsea, they offered £7 but, million or yeah. something for him and, you know, and Glenn Hoddle was a manager. You think if he's going to come and play for anyone, it'd be Hoddle at Chelsea and he still never sort of come. But I remember the England thing. I remember uh, they bought, bought back uh, the old, uh, from the 50s and 60s, B internationals, like for the second, <laughs> to have a look at the second string players. Yeah. And I'm sure... If my memory is correct, he played for England B against Russia. They won 4 3 and he scored all four goals, but he still couldn't get in the next England squad. And I think that's when he said, forget it. Which you could understand that, can't yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. He'd done everything yeah. more yeah. possible. He was one of them players. He's I mean, a scorer of great goals. Yeah, I, I mentioned that in the first um, episode where I, I'm a lover of players that can do things that you can't teach. They're just instinct. And and he had that. People like Burkamp, Zola, uh, Decanio, they just come up with that. 
you know, and you look at Letizia, some of Lizzie's goals. I remember the free kick where he sort of chipped it up to himself and just whacked yeah, it in yeah. the corner. And I saw an interview with him recently, and they showed him that free kick, and he, he was like, "Yeah." And they said, "Why didn't you ever do that again?" And he was like, "You know what? I did it out of instinct. I just did it, and I just forgot that I'd ever done it. <laughs> I just did. I never done it again. It's just, yeah." Yeah, and that, yeah, that's no, what that's what I really yeah. like about him. I mean, some of them goals where he's chipping over three players and then putting it in the corner. Yeah. And he, mm. do you see him as a possible? I, I, I never see him as a wide man. I no, no, see him as a I mean, number ten, but, more like you know your bird camp, you someone like that. Yeah, is. yeah, I do um, too. Yeah, you know, I never see him running down the wing as I call a winger as a wide man. No, no, he's not. Of, no, you know, no, I don't think he ever had. The but I think that, there's yeah. a good chance we'll end up. With players who aren't wide men playing right. in a wide position to fit them in, because I think in the middle of midfield they're really strong. So, do you see Letizia as a possible? Maybe we look at him when we take, pick our two forwards. Yeah, I, will, I wouldn't yeah. put a line for him just yet, Dave. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll yeah. put him on the back third. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you might say to somebody else, we go, oh yeah, he's definitely better than Letizia. That's it done. Yeah. Right, that's it uh, for that. Right. Left-sided players, left we could play left side. Gareth Bell. How did he get as good as he did? That always yeah. baffles me. Just incredible the way he seemed hopeless when he first went to Tottenham. He's played left back, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, and and I don't think we won a game. No, yeah, 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 that, ages, ages and ages and ages. That's record. And every time he played, the they never minute. won. He <laughs> was winning one nil or something. Bring him on in the last minute to say, you know, get to get the sort of uh, whatever off his back. So, yeah. Um, I mean, to go from, to, I mean, I think he was a reserve at Birmingham or something like that, or... Southampton. It was the Southampton. he come from Southampton. No, yeah, but, but he, didn't he go out on loan somewhere? And They, they were going to loan him, but they didn't. Yeah. yeah. I just... Still through. I mean, and then all of a sudden, he's kicking the ball up in Madrid. Like, yeah. His last season at Tottenham, before he went, that yeah. goal against West Ham, yeah. for instance, yeah. he was outstanding. He was outstanding, right? yeah. Oh. I don't think many... I can't think of many... Any players that have done what he's done, I mean, to go from it, the the left back, you know, le- defending, and then all of a sudden he's their number eleven. You know, he's he's banging in the goals and yeah. Just, I think that, I think, I think his incredible. physique changed. I, I think he went from being a, a skinny little left back to I see him at Chelsea in that last year you're talking about when he was playing sort of more of a number ten, and his physique he was like massive. He was big, strong, quick, skillful. Yeah. You just think oh, he's going to be an handful, this kid. There was a goal at Old was. Trafford, wasn't there? Yeah. Where he ran through yeah. and he practically, they were sort of just, he was just shrugging them yeah. off, wasn't he? Yeah. And then yeah. he put it in the back of the yeah. net. He was certainly finished. Yeah. yeah, there was a hat trick, I think, against Inter Milan. In, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. When there was like, he just sort of flew down the wing and you just think, yeah, just so much. Yeah, that was the game that put him in the, in the spotlight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, an incredible journey. It's, it's a sort of journey, uh, sort of story that you see in a film. You think, ah, oh, don't be stupid. It's like a Rocky thing, you know. Yeah, yeah. And you think, oh, that's unbelievable. But it, it's incredible. It's it's amazing, really. So he's a possible, isn't he? He's a possible. Yeah, I yeah. think what so. You, yeah. JB, being a Spurs fan, what do you think about his return? How that all... That took a while to take off, didn't it? Yeah, I, he's obviously not the same player. Yeah. You know, you can see that. Um and do I really think he wanted to come back? Probably not. Um, and and is it just because I need to get fit? I'm not going to play in Madrid. I'm not going to get picked. I'll come back to Spurs. I'll get a few games. I'll get to the Euros and I'll be fit. And then I'll I'll, I'll see you know what's going to See where the offers come yeah. from there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, yeah. I don't. I, I, I don't, don't think see him Tottenham was a great year. fit with Mourinho for him. I don't no. think. No. Was you as a fan? Was you happy to see him come back? Yes, or? Yeah, I mean, because you you expect to see the same player. You think that's the player yeah. that left, you know, and that's the player we're going to get back. And, yeah. and unfortunately, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. No. Yeah. No. Right. Well, he has got a major rival here. Has got on. Ryan Giggs. Yeah. I mean, longevity. Yeah. Is just that's you know that's the thing in it. But he was fantastic, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Flying out, he frightened the life out of you. I mean. Yeah. I'll just show KHP uh, players when they, when they come over to Highbury, you feared them. Yeah, exactly. You certainly yeah, feared yeah. him. He yeah. was lightning fast. Well, like Good I finisher. said, like I said about um, Sterling, I never felt like he was in control of the ball. Giggs is the opposite. Yes, I felt yeah. like he's he was glued to him. Yeah. You know, like and, and running at pace at the yeah, same time. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. it was just like yeah. walking around with it. Incredible, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Always, always in control of all, always looking for that one, two, always could go around a player just by dipping a shoulder and just, yeah, frightened defenders. And score defenders. Goals, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I the famous one goals. is in, you know, the FA Cup against us. I mean, I absolutely destroyed uh, the, the the best back four, you know. Top point seaman for that. Yeah, I do too. But um, <laughs> but I yeah, I, you can't you can't talk about a team of of uh, British Isles without Geeks being up there. Yeah, I mean there was a goal we scored at Tottenham, wasn't it? Yeah. your place where yeah. you seem to just glide through everyone yeah, yeah. And, and knock it in. It just the thing is, we can't have Bow and Geeks in the same team, can we? Why? Because they're both Welsh. <laughs> well, they're both left sided. They never got an England cap, did they, John? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're drop Ashley Cole Kids and put Gareth Bell left back, John. Yeah. Sorry? Drop drop Ashley Cole and put Gareth Bell yeah. left back. Well, Bell, Bell, Bell could be playing with right, again. Could Bell play off the 10, off the 9? Um, yeah, I think. When he's played for Tottenham this season, he's played on the right because you've had Song on the left. So he's always been on the on the right to cut in on his left. So you could play Bell like the seven and Giggs the eleven. That's the eleven. So they're both possibles in. They're both. I, I think possibles. Yeah. Depends what name you're going to say next. <laughs> so would you put them both in front of Letizia and Beckham? I I would personally. Yes, possibly. Yeah, yeah, I would actually. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it all depends who we pick for the yes, the middle midfield players. Yeah. Isn't it? So. A possible is Bell there on the left, <laughs> there and there. And That's not good for podcasting, is it? <laughs> now we're going to attempt. This is going to be the most difficult part of the team, I think, to pick the two midfield players. So I suppose just go through and see what happens. Oh, I'm going to mention one first of all. He's not going to get in the team, but I think he deserves a special mention. Because he's been so good for so long, it's James Milner. Now, he's not going to get in the team, but he's been a great player. He's right? like a he's, servant. He was yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's like a diehard, and he, yeah. he. But he's always played with the top teams. I mean, yeah. City, Liverpool, mm. done well at Villa, done well at Leeds. Yeah. Well, he but, scored his first goal against Chelsea, I think, as a seventeen. Yeah, that's right. And yeah, he, or sixteen, and he. he like, he's even Rooney come along, yeah. didn't he? And, uh, Still playing he's, there. He's probably played in so many different positions over his career as well. Because I'm, yeah. I'm sure the Chelsea game, he was like more of an attacking midfielder. Yeah. Then was it a Liverpool? He was he's, or he's left back and he played right left back. back all them yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. Or did I dig from the penalty spot? Yeah. Don't miss many, did you? I can't remember missing no. one. Yeah, but he he goes to show how um, staying fit. Can just yeah. keep you keep you going, you know. At the uh, top level, the highest uh, level. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, you would have thought um, if he dropped if he dropped down and and say went to a championship team, he'd be solid for them. Do you know what I mean? He, he would yeah, stand he, out. You feel he's mentally a strong sort of yeah, character. Yeah, yeah. He's up for the challenge, whatever it is. Oh, you want me playing that position yeah. now? Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that. And. Very, I mean, I can't think of you know letting you down. It's, it's strange, another strange career, really, where probably Liverpool just bought him as a, or Man City bought him as a squad player. Yeah, he played all them years of Man City, they thought he's too old, sold him to Liverpool, and he's just carried on. And yeah. He's won yeah. the league and yeah. all these things with him, and you just think, yeah, like he doesn't seem no different. <laughs> I see him as a squad player though. Rather than yeah, he's not going to get in that team. Yeah. I just thought he yeah. deserved the mention. Yeah. But if you was to have the top, the the top eleven squad players, he'd be in it. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. He, he, he probably playing every position. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. we're going to run through some sort of like more defence minded midfield players first. So the first right, one before great. we do that, oh, okay. Dave, yeah, yeah. I've got another one. I've got another one for you. Go another on player that's played oh, for. No. Here we go. The only player to play for eight Premiership sides, Marcus Bent. Okay. Wait. Oh. Uh, who went for uh, John? You ain't been first yet. Yeah, we go John, Dave, and JB. So John, Marcus Bent. Marcus Bent. Yes. Come on, go first. Finchers <laughs> 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 Town. <laughs> well, I think he would have played for Blackburn. Blackburn, yep. Yeah. Oh, fuck, didn't want to go. Yeah. Out Charlton Athletic. Yeah, he did. Oh, I go which which. It's which, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think he must have played for Birmingham. Uh, no, he didn't. Well, he oh. might he might have done in the lower leagues, but no. You're frozen oh. out, John. Dave? Everton. Everton, yep. 
JV? That was my one day. <laughs> yeah, I'm struggling there. Oh. Well, you're halfway there. You're four out of eight so far. Another four. I've got to pick one out. Southampton. Uh, no. Dave, you play? name, name oh. one, you got it. You're out, John. You got one wrong, do you remember? <laughs> Blackburn Rovers. We said that already. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll right, just go through oh. the ones you said. Uh, Blackburn, <laughs> Charlton, <laughs> Everton. Oh, no. Said Birmingham, didn't he? It was no good. Uh, <laughs> Norwich City. No, oh. no, it's, a, it's another nil, nil, nil. Crystal Palace. Palace, he was at, yeah, should have said that. I was uh, hoping to save it later on. <laughs> Leicester, he was at. Uh, uh, Leicester. Wigan and Wolves. As well. Oh, yeah. No winner there. Dave still leaves 1 0. So uh, we'll come back to that. Right. Michael Carrick. You know about him, John? Ex Totters. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, Michael Carrick. Obviously, was West Ham and then come to Tottenham and then sold to United. Um, again, it's, do you know, it wouldn't be one of the first names on my list if you said to me, I've got to pick a couple of centre it's- midfielders. Um, he's rated highly at United though didn't yeah, they, yeah. they loved him over there yeah I don't think he'd he give the ball away he's one of those that didn't give the like ball Ray away a bit like Ray Wilkins really. yeah, he didn't, he didn't yeah. hurt you did he not really no I don't ever remember him scoring for Tottenham not, he's, he, 481 appearances 24 goals 40 assists hmm. I mean um, that is a defensive midfield yeah, player isn't it? yeah so yeah it wouldn't be he, he don't jump out at me as a as being would you see him as a contender John no, he'd be playing just two in there. I think if he was playing three, he'd be he'd supplement so the two attacking players. But if we're playing two in there, I wouldn't see him in there. Okay, I just felt, I felt like he never really took it up to another level. He never he was the same player all the way along. I don't feel like he became a great steady Eddie. Yeah, yeah. Right, the governor, Paul Lintz. good player. I think overrated, personally. Not as good as Roy Keane, was he? No, uh, that would be one of the first names on my list. Uh, if I, you said to me, uh, a that's your benchmark, you know, that's got a bit about him, will to win, I think he would be one of the, Keane would be the first name on my list. Was you going Ince, John? Yeah, I'm the same. I think Ince was a, a poor man's... Roy Keane. I think he called himself the governor and whatever, and then Roy Keane come along who could do everything like, a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, um, Roy Keane. There's a good better to for you. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, again, I think he had everything. I think in his younger days, not so much obviously in his older days, I think he had that box to box. He could score goals. He was a bit nasty, you know. A bit, a bit nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, he was horrible. <laughs> uh, get that will to win, that. That mentality oh, of... Oh, win no matter what. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, you know, I'm going to win this game. If I have to win it on my own, I'm going to win it. Yeah. How many goals do you already score in the Premier League? 366 appearances. Oh, I mean, he had quite a lot of injuries, didn't he? But, yeah. But he played 366 games. I would have thought 50 plus. 39. Yeah. Well, I was close with 40. Yeah. But he, that's, he, he weren't just that. I mean, he was... You didn't expect that from the engine him. room. Yeah. And, and his famous game nine. was that one in Juventus, wasn't it? Yeah, the semi-final. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He was immense, wasn't he? Yeah. And you knew he weren't going to play in the final. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. You could, re- I can imagine if you was on, you'd be scared of him if you was playing the same team and you yeah. made a mistake. You know, you'd be scared to make a mistake because he'd let you know. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And, and that's what you need. You need somebody to sort of grab, grab your players and say, yeah. "We're not losing this game," yeah. you know, yeah. and and take it, take it on, you know. But he, he was. You know, well, when you look at goals, and... 39 goals, which don't sound a lot, but then you got to remember, in front of him, he's got skulls, Giggs on one side, Beckham on the other. He probably weren't allowed to go too far up the pitch with them. Yeah. Well, he didn't so need he to. He didn't need to. You know. Up front, it's one every 10 game, isn't it? Would you say he was a contender for the team? Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 He's, he, he is your benchmark, I think. Yeah. If you've got anyone better than him, then... yeah. I mean, imagine if he is, if he was English and he played. Oh, yeah, he I mean, yeah. how many caps in that? Okay, now we have got three giants here. Start off with Gerard, Gerard, <laughs> Stephen Gerard. What can you say about him? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 go, no, go on, John. No, he's fantastic footballer, isn't he, Gerard? 
Do you think he should have left Liverpool? Yes. He would have done if they'd won the Champions League, wouldn't he? He was I on just, his way. Yeah, 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 I just think he would have killed all this thing that he couldn't play with Lampard because he was on the verge of coming to Chelsea. We would have had Essien, Lampard and Gerrard in midfield and if Mourinho couldn't have got him playing with Lampard at the time, then then he'd have been right. But no England manager managed to do it. No. But he was certainly a, a fantastic footballer and scored some unbelievable goals, didn't he? Like, coming yeah. forward. I mean, the problem with him, like Lampard, was, you know, with their clubs, they was always encouraged to go forward and yeah. didn't have to defend a lot. But when they went to England, they picked the two of them and yeah. you just got no cover. Yeah. But, I mean, sometimes Gerard was playing on the left wing, wasn't he? And that's not his position. No, exactly. yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you're going to get the most out of him, he needs to be in, in you know... Well, even Benitez at one point played him right wing, didn't he, at yeah. Liverpool, because he had two holding players yeah. and Gerard weren't one of them, so he stuck him right wing. I think he had a falling out with Benitez but, uh, back then. And I think Gerard could play defensive midfield if he had to. Yeah. He could play yeah. in the centre, yeah. he could go forward. Yeah. I mean, he was all round footballer, wasn't he? Fantastic. Yeah, he embodied that club. Definitely, he was he was immense. Yeah, he could have done, Dave, but I don't think he ever had the discipline to say, like Keane was at Man United, to say, look, you're the holding player, we don't need you going forward. I, I think he would still run all over the place because he had the legs and he, he yeah. would be sort of... He'd want to be involved if it's the yeah. ball's up. Oh, right, yeah, he'd yeah, be there yeah. But I mean, if he, if he had to, I mean... Down to ten men or something, and he had to go back. I think he could. Do, he could do the job. Yeah, he could. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So he's yeah. definitely a contender. He's definitely a contender. Yeah. yeah. I think we're going to have a lot of def- definite <laughs> contenders. Oh. <laughs> I think the two wingers might be out. <laughs> right, John. Frank Lampard, six hundred and nine appearances, one hundred and seventy-seven goals, one hundred and two assists. That's pretty good. Yeah, brilliant. Many well, Lampard. Um, he was. To me, he was like a man-made player, you know. He just practised and practised, got better at all aspects of his game. And so when he come from West Ham, you think, oh, well, we, we should have bought Carrick. Nearly sure. went to Tottenham, John, didn't they? Yeah. The JB. Yeah. Really? Mm. Oh, I didn't know that. All, all I was thinking at the time was when we bought him, like, I'm sure they went to buy Carrick and ended up with Lampard. But every year, his game improved. And you could see he's one of them. They always said he was out late, yeah. last, first in, last out training. Yeah. And he was just he was just practicing, you know. Every time he took a free kick, and he you just think he's you know he's so confident. He's practiced these so much, and now as I said, he'll always be a hero at Chelsea for us. Um, we're always singing his name out, um, but there's some class players there. You can, I think, with Lampard for me, he he's you can tell he loves the game. Do you know what I mean? He just loves. Uh, you can imagine him being a kid. You always had that mate who didn't. He didn't want to do anything else but play football. You know, when the rest of us were playing computer and stuff, there was that kid who just wanted to play football. Come rain, shine, snow, he wanted to be out there with a ball. You know, and I feel like Lampard is that is that um, like self self made. He made himself the best he could possibly be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. But there was a thing I, I don't know. It was on uh, on the telly last night. I was watching. And they said about the England group with the Euros, our, you know, the Chelsea and Man City squads have got to join now, the England, and they're all getting on fine. And someone said, I can remember back in the day when we used to join, if Chelsea had just played Man United, like Terry Lampard would turn up, and the Nevilles, and there'd be a friction in the camp all yeah. week because they'd still be yeah, brooding yeah. over it's their funny, yeah. It's funny you say that, yeah, because I saw an interview with Rio Ferdinand and he said he said our big mistake with the great players that we had, our big mistake was that at lunch you'd have the Arsenal players over here, the Chelsea players over there, mm. and it was never... That should never have been allowed to happen, though, should it? Yeah. No, no. They should have yeah. allocated yeah. seats yeah. or whatever. Yeah. 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 you got to wait to sit it. next to someone that, you know, yeah. you, yeah. you, you just sort of played yeah. Yeah. a week well, before. Well, if that, that was me, I'd be telling Rio, you got to sit with Terry because you're going to be... Yeah, next yeah exactly. Saturday, I want you to be in each other's each pockets. Other. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but maybe that you know that didn't happen. But that's it was always that friction that yeah. in that interview. Succession of weak England managers. Yeah, yeah. Right, we've got one more, and he's another great player, Paul Scholes. Scholes, yeah, Scholes. Yeah, again, couldn't tackle very well, could he? I could leave his leg in. Yeah, <laughs> couldn't he just? So he could do everything else. 
Yeah. Great goals. Yeah, he scored that goal in, um, I always remember in the group games of uh, World Cup 98, didn't he? He sort of spun in the uh, yeah, in right. the box. Yeah, scored, scored great goals. They had a great shot on him and he didn't really have the legs. He didn't really cover he a lot of ground. But great pass for the ball. But, but to yeah. have that player in the middle who got the ball and the eye for, you know, sending it out to Two Bex. Or, yeah. Two footed as well. They, they said he was the best natural finisher at Man United of all the players there. Mm. Yeah. You know, he was the best natural finisher. Cool, great goals, isn't he? Mm. Got a hat trick against Poland in Keegan's first game. I think he did. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a. <laughs> I'd say he's a contender, but then you know, is for me, for me, Lampard? he's not. He's not as good as as the names we just we've already oh, marked up. Well, I think me. he is. Do you think he is? I think he's a contender, but I'd, I'd say Lampard for me. If I was going to have a goal scoring midfielder, Lampard would be in there. Varsity skulls is more than that. I see him as a. What what, what we're left with basically. We've got Bauer and Giggs, four players. And then we've got four in the middle. We've got Gerard, Lampard, Keane, Skulls as possible. So what do we do? I mean... Are they the, is there nobody else, Dave? We're not mentioning No, I think else. that's the lot. No, OK. We've discarded Beckham and Letizia. Right, OK. So, so out of them four, we need two of them four. Unless we sacrifice a forward player. A centre forward. So yeah, really. five in midfield, you mean? Yeah. Or <laughs> one just oh. See, we've, the, the problem, not the problem, but... It's a good problem to have, to be fair. <laughs> with Lampard, I never... I, I, whenever they played us, he didn't dominate a midfield like Gerard, Keane or Scholes would. He's more, he's more like a Burkamp, a scorer of goals. Of goals yeah. I yeah. don't see him as running the midfield. I just don't. Is that fair, John? No, that's a fair it... go- Yeah, I mean, a lot of the time you watch Chelsea, you think, oh, Lampard like, ain't got in the game much, but you've come away and we've won 2 0, he's got exactly. both goals. Um, I think his game was to just play it simple in midfield and he'd be making his move up to yeah. support Drogba while the game's going on, and, and then he, yeah. he's he knack for getting the right in the box and scoring. Yeah. So when you look at credibility there, do you think, well, hold on, if you've got people like Lampard and Gerrard, do you play five in midfield with one forward? Because you know they're going to both pop up and score, and even Skulls, probably 15, 20 goals each a season. Um, well, you're right. Is it the he, hardest he, part of the team, aren't he, he? He ain't one of them like, say, Carrick, even Jorginho, now you watch him at Chelsea, he has a million touches a game. But, you know, all he's doing is setting up the play. Where Lampard wasn't nothing like that. He was, you know, one pass out to the full back and then he's on his way. He ain't getting yeah. involved in the game yeah. no more till it's till in it the box third. and he's on the end of it, yeah. Yeah. Well I'll I'll set the ball rolling here. And I'm gonna put Ryan Geeks as a definite because there's no one like him, left hand side, great up and down, tackle back if he needs to, scores goals, frightens defences. So I don't see I see Geeks as a definite. For this team, it's, it was that whole, um, uh, you know, only if he was English, you know, because England well, didn't yeah. have a left sided player, no, did no. they? And it was, yeah, he was, it was like it was made for that, yeah. but yeah, it, it, there is nobody else like him. I don't So, think. what do you think about that, John? What I just said, yeah, I think if we're playing even four or five gigs, we'd probably be in the team. Yeah. Okay, Jamie, I'm happy with gigs, so gigs is definitely yeah, in gigs, okay. Now we've got to think about Gareth Bale. Do we sacrifice him to get one of these super duper midfield players in? But then the super duper midfield players playing out position. Well, not really. I mean, he, he could he could start there, can't he? And he can see how the game goes. He, he's not going to be running up and down like a right winger, is he? He's just gonna you're going to play four across the mirror. Not going to stand together, are they? You know what I mean? He's, yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Unless we say we're going to go with. Bale with three midfield players, so he just dropped one of the four out, and then do we play one forward? That's another possibility. Because when you look at the quality of them four players there, have we got two quality forwards who are in that bracket? Gerard Lampard, Keane and Scholes, yeah. I mean, do, do we can we do the strikers and then come back to this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because well, I think it's a bit of a we need a bit of think. All right, so if you can find two strikers and one of them, it's worth sacrificing one to get one of these in. 
Okay, yeah. then yeah. we we'll decide yeah. who we're going to pick. Have a little bit of thinking time yeah, on that. Before we go to that, we all agree that probably Keane has to be our holy midfield player in this. Well, we've selected. Well, yeah, selected. it's uh, that's up for debate, but we'll come back to it. Anyway, it's another chance, John, oh, for you to no. prove your knowledge. Um, right, here we go. Wayne Routledge. We're starting with you, JB. Wayne Routledge. Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace, yep. John? Swansea. Swansea, yep. Dave? I didn't know them, too. <laughs> Thank God for that, because I only knew that. I only knew Swansea. When he never said Swansea, I was well happy. Yeah. Who yeah, did you say? Who did you play for? Seven. Really? What, in the Premier League? Yeah. JB, who did you say? Oh. We've had Palace Swansea. and Swansea. <laughs> Palace, I said. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> didn't play for them. Birmingham. No, uh, you're out, Dave. JB. Cardiff. No. John, you can take this one. I thought of someone. Go on. Oh, shit, I've forgotten. Routledge. <laughs> I've just had someone in my head. Um, Five teams. Five teams. Jesus. Did he play for them? So you said Palace. Palace and Swansea. 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 I think he definitely played the QPR. Not in the Premiership, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Gosh, I, I mean, can you think of any more? I can't. I mean, you could get like Norwich. No. 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 Well, he played for Spurs. What? Did he? He did in the Premiership. Well done, JB. Spurs. <laughs> did he? <laughs> Spurs, Portsmouth, Fulham, Villa, Newcastle, and Palace and Swansea. Who would have thought that? Seven teams, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I'm ashamed. Unbelievable. <laughs> there you go. Right, before we get on to the forwards, uh, there are members of the 100 Premier League club who are not going to be considered, but we mentioned them anyway. Dion Dublin, Emil Heskey, Peter Crouch, Robbie Keane, Darren Bent are not going to be considered. Right, we start off with... Well, 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 can we get a bit of uh, well, feedback? Does anybody Just, want them in? Just, no, not get them in, but, you know, any... any Better than better than the others. Dublin, Heskey, Crouch, no. Bent, Robbie Keane. No. no, for me, there's only one player I can think of that, and it's not one of them. So, okay. right, Andy Cole, 187 goals, 73 assists, 414 games. Pretty good. A ratio, a goal every 2.21 games. That's pretty good. Was the move to Man United quite a bit of a shock? Was there a bit of a... Well, shocked yeah. that bloke who had the tattoo on it. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I, I, obviously I was quite young at the time, so I, I can't really remember the um, the circumstances. Yeah, I, but it I seemed think it to was be... a shock. I think it was a bit... Because Newcastle yeah. had a good yeah. side at the time, didn't they? Yeah. Well, they wanted Shearer, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. He was out. Because you could get in the England team because of Shearer. Yeah. But his stats are good. I mean, really good. Yeah. Played yeah, one game I'm... for Arsenal. Yeah, there's that picture of him yeah. in the Arsenal shirt, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Let him go to Bristol City, didn't we? And then Newcastle snapped him up. But we, I think we'll find better centre forwards. Yeah, than I, there. I, I think so. so. Yeah. Your old mate, jo- JB, Jermaine Defoe. Ooh, I should wonder who had on your list. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How many clubs he played <laughs> for? Uh, He's been. Around. He's still playing now, isn't he? Yeah, he's got another Rangers, year at Rangers. Rangers. Yeah, he's got another year. Crazy. A goal yeah. every three point zero six games. Not quite as good as Andy Cole. But, but again, a goal scorer. But he was. He was. Uh, he was dangerous, wasn't he? he well, we scored saw him against uh, Charlton, didn't we? Oh, that time, yeah. God, what was it? He five? came. He, he left Charlton under a cloud, didn't he? Went to West Ham as yeah. a youngster, and yeah. Charlton were winning, and they bought him on a sub. And they're all booing him. You're going to boo him, he's going to score. Cool, it's 89th minute yeah. goal. Yeah. That was that. He was right in front of us as well, celebrating. Yeah. Oh, God. So you getting yeah. in the team, John? Uh, no, not no. me personally. No. He yeah. weren't a bad player, though. He's got some England caps as well, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What about Robbie Fowler? He was good, wasn't he, Robbie Fowler? Uh, again, a natural finisher. Yeah. Mm. Um, you feel he should have done better than he did? Yeah, exactly. He didn't fulfil his potential. 163 goals, 379 games. Yeah, didn't he go to Leeds after... Yeah, after, I think... He, after Liverpool. It was still, yeah, because Michael Owen burst through, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, that's right. Man City, I think he was at yeah. as well at some point. 
Yeah, he'd feel that. He always used to score against Arsenal, didn't he? Always, yeah. Did he get the quickest ever hat-trick in the Premier League? Yeah, about six minutes or something ridiculous. (laughs) But not going to get in the team? No, No. not for me. No, not in front of some of the ones I can think of. What about Celez? Les Ferdinand? Again, a good player. Great leap. But there was better around at the side, wasn't there? Yeah. Good header and a ball, yeah. Yeah, In the box, he gets his head on. Powerful, good leap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Quick, but you just didn't think. Oh no, no I'm, I'm facing this third now today. I'm, yeah, you know, I'm in trouble. Well, I think one who is a contender is your old mate Harry Kane. Well, and what did you say about him? <laughs> Fucking useless. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still not convinced. <laughs> right, his 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 stats: 245 games, 166 goals, 34 assists, a goal every 1.47 games. That's less than one and a half games. That's the best ratio of any of these players up front. I think he's got to be a contender. I do. I, I think he's fantastic. I've got to be honest. See, I, do you know what? I've never been convinced. We well, should be by the I know, by the stats, but I suppose watching him as a young age, when he was like... Went to Millwall alone. Millwall, Leighton Orient, and places like that. And, and, and honestly, and you'd go up there and watch him, like, and I used to think, who the hell, you know, what? I could do better than him, you know, and... What's your stats, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> one every one point three game. I've got, I've got six goals in a game once. So, yeah. uh, Who's that against? Blind school. <laughs> right, I think that was uh, Eden Bridge Echo. Oh, okay. oh, he remembers it like yeah. he couldn't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I get you know. Obviously, his stats are fantastic, but I, I don't know. I think he's got better and better and better. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, again, he's he's one that they reckon that. You know, first in, last out, works at his game just continually. A bit like Frank Lampard. Always yeah. scores against Arsenal. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's but not, yeah. not going to change a game, though, is he? I don't. I don't no, think. he's not going to take the game by a scruff of the neck. And what? I don't. I don't see him as that kind of. No. I don't. Well, not when really he sent the forwards to take the game by the scruff of the neck. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> drug bar. You know, you look yeah, at these think, players. Yeah. Lead by the front and all that kind of getting in there. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I look back at that game at Southampton this year where Tottenham was struggling. He started dropping deep and made four goals for Song. Mm. We just turned and just put him through every time and they won six something, did they? Yeah, like, six, one or six, yeah. two in the but, end. Yeah. But, um, I mean, if he leads and goes to Manchester City, oh. how many goals he's going to score there? Oh, yeah. He'll yeah, get yeah, that down to a goal a game, won't yeah. he? And, and Do you think he'll to, go? To be fair, on his stats and that, he deserves the, the leave, I think. You, know. you wouldn't be surprised to see him go? No, then, no. no. I wouldn't, wouldn't begrudge him. I wouldn't be booing him and, you know, calling him Julius. I bet they, I bet they but what if he went to Chelsea, go, JB? Would you have I, a different... I, I, would they boo him then? I just don't see that happening. I just don't think... No. You know, I don't think Daniel Levy... No, I don't think he'll... I don't think Chelsea actually really want to buy him. I think they probably want Haaland, but... Yeah. You'd imagine if he went to Tottenham, I don't think he'd be a love there as if he goes to Man City. No, I think he, he, he would get the abuse if he went to, to mm. Chelsea. And I think if he goes to City, everyone would say, you've done as much as you can. The club's not matching your ambition. Therefore, you, you know, off yeah. you go. And, and, and hopefully you, you'll get your medals you want. What's your other transfer fee be? Well, they're saying 150 million cash. Jeez. They got it though, haven't they? He's got another three years on his contract, so... Contracts don't mean anything these days, do they? No, but, you, you know, they they don't have to sell him, do they? Well, we're going no, to have to put him down as a possible wife. But then you've got this yeah, goal scorer so. that's not going to... Yeah. You know, not going to want to be there. I mean, no, but, but how does that they, affect they the rest of the team? Like well, it's very wouldn't. well JB saying 150, but if I was Man City or Chelsea, I, I would never be paying that much money for it. He's 28 now, is he? You're going to get no money. Is he? You're going to get no money back on him. No. So that outlay, you're not getting nothing back, plus his wages for three years. And then, and who knows when your legs are going to go in football? Because Michael Owen's legs went at sort of 26, 27. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, other it, people go 33, yeah. 34. Who, who knows? I mean, he hasn't got blistering pace, has he? He's not a Thierry no. Henry or a, or a Giggs. Yeah. You know, he, he relies on getting the ball. Unless you say laying it off or, or you know, having a strike a goal. Well, he's a contender anyway. I was just mentioned him, Michael Owen, whose career sort of fizzled out a bit, didn't it? Yeah. He was great when he first came yeah, out. Yeah, the goal against yeah. Argentina. Yeah, the goal against yeah. Argentina where, you know, 
I mean, just sort of run through and you just think. And so yeah, he, it's so just, little. It's like yeah. boys against men, but yeah. he just shrugs them but off. They were petrified mm. of his Amazing. Punch, I mean, he yeah. destroyed us in the FA Cup that time. He, he I yeah. saw, I saw an interview with him recently about that FA Cup, and he said, he said, once I got that first goal, he said, I was looking up at the clock before they kicked off again, thinking, if I can get the ball, I can beat these again. I'm just going to run at them because they, he said, their legs are gone. Yeah. They're dead gone. And he did. Oh, gee, we should have been about 40. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that yeah, true. One sided final. That yeah. Yeah. Bloody unbelievable. But to be that kind of. 150 goals in 326 games. Yeah. He, I mean, I, I have done. A, I've watched a lot of interviews with Michael Owen because I find his story a bit, uh, bit intriguing because it's. Um, he, he, you know, a hero at, at Liverpool. Then he goes and his legs are sort of gone at that yeah. point then he sort of comes back to Newcastle and and, and he, he can't and then United he was at you know, Man yeah. United for a bit and I just feel he can't really walk in anywhere and be a legend and, you know he's mm. sort of burnt it all down yeah. whereas if he had got injured like Ledley King like you say Ledley King he gets injured he, you know he leaves Liverpool he retires he's a Liverpool <laughs> legend forever do you know what yeah. I mean he walks into there no matter what you know they sing his name all the time but now because he's gone yeah, it's like Van Persie isn't it yeah he goes back yeah. to Arsenal he's the skunk yeah but Old Trafford he's not really because he's only there a couple no. of years yeah so he sort of well yeah he's bothered he's got all the money isn't he? yeah but I, I, I just think mm. uh, Michael I think they abused not abused him obviously he wanted to play and they played him as much as possible but I think if you look at the stats of him and, and Giggs at the same age when they're at the same age Giggs was sort of playing every other game and Michael Owen was playing every game yeah. and that's why you know that yeah. he sort of burnt himself out earlier the thing when he played for a game for England he was on the touchline and he just he had the ball yeah. and, and he, he just, just turned, turned, and he, he just collapsed, collapsed. yeah, yeah. Yeah, like someone shot him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That was it. Yeah. And that was his injury style. Yeah. Off, yeah. The, yeah. The, the famous one where he's running at pace and he as well, and he just no, yeah. holds. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as you see that, you think, oh no, yeah. you know, you okay. dread it. Right, the next one I think should be a contender as well is Wayne Rooney. He was a great player, wasn't he? Obviously, the, the stats say so, don't they? Yeah. He must be the most hard working forward, mustn't he? Yeah. He could play left back, couldn't he? I mean, he, yeah, he again, he was one that lived for football. You just looked at yeah. him and just thought he's one that when he come home from school, all he wanted to do was play football. You know, all of his mates with whoever, he just wanted to kick a ball. Yeah, what's think of him, John? Yeah, he's strong, hard play. I, I mean, good finisher. Yeah, you will meet him down the dark alley. I wouldn't have thought. Really. <laughs> no, unless um, you got Roy Keane with you. Did <laughs> um, yeah, I tell you, my mate Frank was chauffeuring him once. Yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me. Oh, Rooney? Yeah. Yeah, Go it's on. funny. Sorry. They, so they've got a meeting in the Ritz, Ritz even, and he's he sponsors a Pepsi. Oh, okay. So him and his agent get out Frank's car, and Colleen's in the car, and he says, like, to Colleen, you go shopping with Frank, and we'll be a couple of hours in the Ritz. So, of course, Picker did his nightmare turn him. So Rooney and his agent goes in to meet Pepsi in the Ritz. So Frank goes up the road, comes back again. And then sees them coming out the Ritz. They go in Starbucks across the road. So there's now Rooney's agent and a couple of other people having this meeting in Starbucks. So the story was Rooney's trying to get in the Ritz, but they won't let him in into this area they're going without a tile. <laughs> and he, he's now refusing to wear a tie. They said, well, we've got a tie for you. He said, I'm not wearing a tie. Sod that. So instead of having this meeting in, with Pepsi Cola in, in this ballroom in the Ritz, they've had it in Starbucks across the road. <laughs> Frank says, I'm driving back across the road. I've had to stop to let them cross the road. <laughs> yeah, that's, that shows you the character, doesn't it? Yeah. And from like, he knows where he's from, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. But no, good, good, we can get back to football. Yeah, he was... Um, Another one in players two footed smash smash goals in from. Well, he made he made me tackle back for me. He made yeah. he made me yeah. sit up when uh, for Everton he scored that goal against Seaman, uh, like Arsenal when Seaman was yeah, his goal. That's a lady, and uh, yeah, that was an early one. I just yeah, that just, was the early one. That was the early one. Yeah, yeah it made you sit up and think, who is this? You know, you. I mean, when he went to United, I mean, well, he's always going there, wasn't he? Always. Yeah. He went back, didn't he? He went back to Everton, didn't he? Yeah, Briefly. Brief shell. He's been putting him down as a contender. I think we should. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I'll see him play in the FA Youth Cup uh, that year because Everton played at Tottenham. And the boy I coached, Paul O'Donoghue, was in Tottenham's under 18s. And Rooney played that day and Paul knocked him virtually out of the game. 
And then Rooney took two free kicks from 30 yards, smashed them both in. Oh. And they went through 2-1 on aggregate. Another lad I coached, Liam Ridgewell, was at Aston Villa and they played against Rooney's team in the final and Villa beat them. I think it was the same year. Rooney was playing first team football at Man United. Blimey. But even then he looked so, so wide. Not yeah. the tallest, but he was just... Like a boxer. Yeah. 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 I remember yeah. Like, we, we were season tickets over Cholton for a few years, weren't we? Yeah. And uh, Cholton were playing when he came on a sub halfway through the second half and he just lifted the game it was just him mm. I remember once he got the ball he passed two for about 30 yards he hit this ball like a bullet and it just grazed the crossbar he ain't for this bloke's a bit special mm. so, so he's, he's like a bulldog isn't he that's how yeah, it, so he sort of embodies that yeah. Yeah. yeah well I remember at all one time at Chelsea sort of you always felt Terry would bash the cent- centre forward up and I I was quite close to it and the ball's got knocked up the Rooney he's going to try and chest it Terry's come right into the back of him. I thought, he's done him. And all of a sudden, Terry's gone back five yards and <laughs> fell on the floor. And really sort of sort of what happened there? Like, like a no bowl. No one's yeah. ever done that to Terry before. <laughs> right, John, one of yours, Teddy Sheringham. He was a class act, wasn't he? Yeah, I, I think pace let him down. Um, you know, Again, I think if he was looking for a, a thinking footballer, uh, going to mm. play off... Uh, yeah, I skillful forward than that. A bit like yeah. Burkham, really. Yeah, yeah, but didn't have Burkham's pace. No. You know? But again, as a thinking footballer, uh, you're right up there. But, you know, we can't have 11 centre forwards. Um, I don't think he's going to get in front of Rooney um, or Kane. Um, so, okay. not a contender. Yeah. I like, I like Sharon. I always remember to tell that story of when we was over Charlton now playing Portsmouth. And uh, it, Sharon just seemed to have so much time on the ball. Yeah. Everyone else was kind of panicking. He yeah. just had a touch and having a look and that. Just, his class just shone through, yeah. I liked him. I liked sharing him. Jamie Vardy. Bit of a success story, wasn't he, Jamie Vardy? He's got the best goal per game ratio. Only Shearer and Kane have got a better goal, game, goal for game ratio than he. 2.07. That's pretty good, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Could he go on much longer? For Leicester as well. No, once his legs go, that's going to be the finish of him, isn't it? Again, he's one of them strikers that's got that horrible yeah. bit of yeah. him. You know, he can yeah. put his foot in and... But but he's, 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 he's JB's legs should have gone by now, though, shouldn't they? That's <laughs> if they're on his 48. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Arsenal tried to buy yeah, him. That's right. yeah. and I'm thinking, boy, he's, he's past his best... When yeah. Arsenal wanted him. Yeah, he's got and, uh, goals all of a sudden, then. three years down the line, he's still yeah. smashing goals in. Again, it's, it's one of them stories that if it was in a film, you'd say it's unbelievable. You know? yeah. I mean, he is the Jeff. kind of um, uh, jumpers for goalposts up to yeah. winning the league in the FA Cup. You know, it's, yeah. But not good enough to get in our team. I wouldn't have thought so. I wouldn't. No. Right. No. Ian Wright, right, right. Bob, what do you think of him? Uh, obviously, he's an Arsenal legend, and he and he and he was great. I mean, I loved you know his his character, his mentality. He had that horrible thing where you get get in. Him and Schmeichel used to have their their battles, um, and when he when he did come to the end, you thought, oh, it's such a shame. There'll never be another him, right? And then Thierry Henry <laughs> turned up, and it and. He was good for that time. That where oh yeah, he was defenders and he scored, didn't he? Yeah, def- defenders. You know, he 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 battled for the ball. You know, he wouldn't shy away from a challenge. He, he had a good finish, and um, but yeah, once once the legs went, you never was, thought you know, there was a lost cause of him when there was half a chance of a goal. You know, what I mean, oh, no, he's the goals you're talking down. about. He'd yeah. get a leg there and flick it over the goalie somehow, and you're thinking. As a defender's ball, where did he? I always remember the, there was a ball, uh, Arsenal Spurs, and the ball was literally going out like for a goal kick, and he sprinted after it and got it, and then got it into the box. That did a uh, Fox was that playing at the time? Did it, and then Burkamp got it in. And it was just a lost cause, like you say. It's mm-hmm. just it was always chasing Vardy, similar to Vardy in that respect. But when I said that Vardy to... only had two, they actually all three because Bright below him in the list, I didn't take him into consideration. He's under two a game. He's 1.88, 113 goals, 213 games. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good, yeah. But yeah. there are others that are better. He, he, legend, he suffered with England vibrant. because of that, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. There was always someone better. Lineker yeah. was better than Shearer was better. I mean, you take them out of, the con- uh, out of 
um, c- consideration, then you've got Ian Wright play, plays for England every time, you know, but there were better, better strikers. We have Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen as well. Yeah. But now we're down to the last one, and it's Alan Hang on. Sh- I might have played against Ian Wright. Oh, go on. Oh, yeah, go yeah. on. Oh, oh hello. Ah. <laughs> for Grinny's Borough. No, I think brother? he played for a team called 10 MB. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he did, yeah. Uh, and we played them. And I, I think I was, I was, I think I'm a few years older than you. Was that Tandridge League or Bexley League? Um, no, it would have been either the Kent County League or Kent Amateur League at the time. Or I'm not sure if it was on the Sunday, played on a Sunday morning. And it might have been Orpington and Bromley. But um, I remember playing 10 MB and I think we was nil nil and they brought a young kid on and he was like Grease Lightning. Uh, I think we lost two or three nil, and afterwards it was like, who, the f- <laughs> who let him play? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like, oh, it's a kid called Ian Wright, and it mm. always stuck in me. Yeah. Uh, but what did Ian Wright? The whole story of Ian Wright is, is so that- JB. All them goals he saw at <laughs> Chelsea, you had the fucking chance to do him. Take him out of the game. If I could have caught him. Oh, I would have, I would have him. But, but he was playing uh, with David Rokar, so he's playing with men as a kid. Yeah. So he always had that kind of um, mm. when he played yeah. with people his own age, it was easier, yeah. you know. I think mm. it was Greenwich Borough. He sort of went to from yeah. wherever he was, and then was yeah. kicking about non-league football, and almost didn't make. Yeah, didn't, didn't make. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And trials did he go to Greenwich Borough? Was it Palace? They gave Greenwich Borough a set of shirts, you know, or something. Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That wasn't a bad deal, was it? No. Yeah, bloody shirts. <laughs> right, Alan Shearer, how good was he? Shearer, Shearer. Yeah, never think Shearer, wasn't he? Um, he's one of the first people I see done a trick at Chelsea, um, but I never noticed it before, even though I played all that all them years. When the goalie kicked the ball and it was in the air, he wouldn't really look at the ball. He would bang into the centre half just at the right time, so the ball landed in front of him, and the referee's looking up in the air. And no one actually sees the foul. Everyone's looking in the air. But I was just looking at him. And it was amazing how he just looked at where the ball was roughly going to land, moved a little bit, and then concentrated on making sure he whacked the centre off so they couldn't have a good jump on it. Yeah. You know, but top player, I mean. Yeah, he's got some some goals, yeah. 441 appearances, 260 goals, 64 assists, a ratio of 1.69. The only player with a better ratio in that is Harry Kane. I, uh, for me, when you look at all of these strikers and you look at any striker that's ever going to be a premiership striker, they're looking at the, Shearer is the benchmark. Yeah, he's, definitely. Yeah. He's, he's, he's what you want your strikers to be. Dangerous, uh, good with a ball, can shoot from distance, um, can, in, in the, the box, yeah. in the air. As you say, and had a bit of a nasty streak. No, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. nasty streak, yeah. Like you say, John, as well. Yeah. Always looking, yeah. not Elbows, just looking at the ball. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah. Him and Keane used to have a um, yeah. knock up, didn't they? Yeah, the yeah. yeah. I mean, but when you look at them two, really, we, we, could you play Harry Kane and Shearer together, or you got to make? I think they could play together. Uh, do you make one? I think Kane could drop back a bit. And uh, would you play Shearer and Rooney? Definitely. Don't see why you couldn't play them together. I think mean, you could take Shearer out of it and put. I think mean, Kane could play with Rooney. I mean, these three are pretty. Shearer maybe is the cent- out and out centre forward. For me, he'd be the number one. Yeah. If you should play one, well, in it'd goal. be Shearer. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, definitely. For me, play it's one, it'd be Shearer. Are you saying Shearer's definitely in the team, John? I, I would probably edge Kane, to be honest, with you, just above Shearer. I, I don't I think Kane's. I, I, I'm, I'm not saying this. I think Kane could challenge Shearer. With the, the stats speak for themselves. I mean, I think it's easier when when they're not playing anymore because you can see it as a whole package. With Kane, you know, say he does go to Man City and he never, you know, he's a bit player and he never can't score for Toffee. You know, it, it's for me, it's for Shearer the in the you know the Blackburn days of winning the league. Then he goes to Newcastle. I mean, he he owns Newcastle, doesn't he? I mean, he's he's a legend there. He never went into management. So probably only, he, only, yeah, he had a guy at Newcastle. He managed Newcastle while. where they were going to get relegated, yeah. didn't he? But it didn't work out and he left. Didn't he score a hat-trick in his first game? For Newcastle. He no, scored for Southampton against Arsenal. Oh, sorry. Against Arsenal when he was yeah. 17. Mm. 
Oh, Thanks for bringing that up, John. <laughs> <laughs> Just remembered that. Just a little fact yeah. there. But I, I, I mean, it's, I, went out of my head, I think we. I see Shearer as the out and out centre forward of this team. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. No, he's the, he's the goal scorer. Yeah. He he's the one. Mm-hmm. Because I remember an interview with Ian Wright, he used to say, he used to get home from a game playing, uh, you know, Aston Villa or whatever, get home and have a look at C-Facts or whatever, because uh, he always wanted the golden boot. And he was like, oh, Newcastle, oh, Shearer. It's always Shearer, Shearer, mm. Shearer, Shearer. And he's, he could never really sort of get get that um, ratio. So it's three of us. Would you be too disappointed if Shearer played, John? No, I mean, not at all, really. I mean, right, like we've we got to start I, I like sort of making some sort of decision here. Shearer's going Shearer's on the board. Shearer's going on the board. Up front. Oh, we're not playing one up front, are we? Or are we? Oh, or are we? But can you have two strikers that I'll are... I'll put him over here first of all. Can you have two strikers... In my head, like we mentioned very early on, you, you know, the, the big and the small striker, uh, you know, you have the one that sort of sits back well, and the one that goes one, forward. We? No, but I'm just saying that it, you have... Can you... Does it work if you have two strikers that are... Very similar. Yeah, like Rooney and Shearer. Shearer and Sheringham, rather against Shearer yeah. and Kane. Well, you got on well, well, I, think, I, think I think these are top players. Rooney and Shearer are, are, are similar. I would have thought they're totally different. But two similar. But Could you not play Kane them? and Kane and Shearer, you would say, are definitely, I would think, more similar than, than Rooney playing with one. Yeah. yeah, Rooney can move all over the place. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. All right, so... So, I mean... We go back to this midfield. You know, we've got Shearer up front. We've got the chance of putting Kane or Rooney up front with him. Or we could start sorting out the midfield and see what we're left with. What do you? Where do you see the strength of this team, John? Would you still go I for four four two, or would you? I would go for Kane, Lampard, Gerrard, and that sorts it out. Kane with, with Bell yeah. on right wing. So I would probably leave Skulls out. I would probably play Keane holding two attacking midfield players with Bell on the right. Hang on, they've got too many players, it? And you only have Shearer up front of his own? With, yeah. With no Kane or Rooney? Yeah. I'd probably play That's a big shout. Lampard, Lampard and Gerrard as attacking midfield players. How's Which that is make, similar. How does that make you feel, JV? A lot of teams are playing that way now, aren't they? With a sort of fourth. So Bell and Giggs would be more attacking. Uh, a lot of teams are playing this this way now, aren't they? What four three three or four one two three or whatever? Well, now they See, they I, change I, it mid game, the, the way I'm thinking, I think of all these players we've got, I'll, I'll, I'll sacrifice Bell. You got gigs on the left to provide width, and then you have got these cracker jack midfield players and Kane or Rooney. It's going to be a so it's going to be a strong team, whatever way you, you do. You throw the balance of the team out by putting say Gerrard right midfield. Yeah, I put. Should put. I'm going to put Gerald on the right here, but he's not going to be a right winger. He's not going to be up down. He's going to be moving all over the shop. I'd have him. Well, well no, to make it easier, to make it easier, to make it easier with this with this four, we've got so we have got Gerard Lampard, Keane, and Skulls. Just to narrow it down, just out of who who would you definitely have out of those four, John? Roy, Roy Keane. Roy definitely. Keane is your go-to yeah. JB, yeah. yeah? yeah. Um, Roy Keane has to play in that. Right, team. okay, because he's going to win the, win the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Holding play. Well, I agree well, with that. I agree. So, so let's that, so let's narrow our yeah. kind of options. So Keane is in. He came from Forest, didn't he? Did he play Forest yeah. first? Yeah, he's under Brian Clough, wasn't he? Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay. okay. Keen is in. So now, now we've got the the right midfield, and we've got three uh, three midfielders: Gerard, Lampard, Skulls. Uh, well, we got one centre mid, one right right mid. I think we need to decide whether we're playing one up front or two up front, because then that gives us. Do you want to sac- Would you sacrifice one of the front players? Because you've got. You got Lampard, Gerard, Geeks. Do we need another striker? I I would always go for two strikers. I'm more uh, yeah. What are you, JB? What do you think of the players you well, got? Well, yeah. I mean, I'd like to see Rooney in there somewhere because I think he can play off the off a shearer, but he can also play midfield. Not so much in his own. But if he though. plays, he's got to play up front with Shearer. He? He's got to be here. 
he's not going to be there in front of Gerard Lampard in midfield, is he? No. So let's let. Why don't we do it again then? So we've got a, a central midfielder spot there, right? So out of out hey, of, uh, go on, go, yeah. Just say Gerard Lampard and Scholes are not going to be all in this team, are they? They're not. So if we go around the table and say who is not going to get in the team out of them three, right? John, you first. Out yeah. of Scholes, Lampard, yeah, it would, it Gerard. Would just be Scholes, by this time. Well, don't oh, we? How about you, JB? It will be skulls for me as well. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, it's skulls. Same. It? Yeah, yeah, skulls same. He's not going to get the team. Come what may. Okay. So we've narrowed it a little bit more. That's good. Now, what about Rooney up front? In place of Bow? What's. Uh, well, he's, 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 going to be, he's going to be in place of one of them three, well, isn't yeah. it? you got. We've got four players left and we've got three positions, basically. So if you're... If oh, we've still, we still got Harry Kane. Wait, yeah, if, say, if, yeah. If, you, if you're going to do a second striker, is Rooney the only one? I mean, you've got Harry Kane. Uh, is that it? Yeah, is that's that it. Harry Kane oh, and Rooney? Maybe we should just, next one, eliminate Kane or Rooney because we're not going to play both of them, are we? Whatever happens. Yeah. Uh, from, uh, I mean, we're not going to play three up front or have... My Rooney choice would always field. be Rooney. Out of those, those two, Kane yeah. and Rooney, my my choice choice would be Rooney. Yeah, to, to play or to ditch? No, to keep, to keep, to play. Yeah. All right, Rooney, because they're not both going to play. Whatever happens here. Thank you, John. Yeah, I would, I would play Rooney in front of Kane purely because of the balance with Shearer. Rooney. Rooney? Yeah. All right, I'm going to put him in. Yeah, so we kind of work around it and then come back to like the the midfielders. Okay, because it is the most difficult one to choose. Well, yeah, it's just a, a much it's easier a, choice. Two out of them three. Yeah, yeah we got yeah. Bell, Gerard, and Lampard. To me, Gerard and Lampard are going to be more to the team than Bell because you've already got Giggs as a wide player. So my to get, eliminate one of them. I would eliminate Bell. Bob, who would you eliminate out of them three? Oh, that's difficult. I don't see you can have um, this team without Gerard Lampard. No, I, I, I disagree. I, 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 I'm, uh, to me, it's not, it's not about because you're looking at the right midfield. I, I think Bale. Uh, that I mean, that season where he, the last season, one he season. Yeah. Lampard's been doing it for fifteen years. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Right. yeah J- I am, JV, I am. JV. Mm. I see what you're saying, but have Lampard and um, Gerard ever played well together? Good ever. point. Not one England game. Never played in this team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> to me, they're too similar. To me, they're... I don't oh, see them as similar at all. I, I, in in mentality, they're the the leaders. They're the they're the captains. Even though John Terry was, but they're. They're that um, sort of steadfast, in the middle, reliable, and to me, it's uh, to me, it's Gerard and Bale. This is a lot harder. Than I, the I don't, I don't yeah. think there's a problem with them two being similar because you've got Keane as a holding player behind them. I think the problem with England's always been they played them two without any holding player behind them. So yeah. when they go in them attacking positions, we've We've got no one left in midfield, so teams just just walk through our midfield and score. But um, I think with Bell, like they said, he had that one year we probably reached heights that probably Gerard and Lampard probably never did. But he, did he do it for just that one year here, and then all them years at Real Madrid? Yeah, and I mean, where, it's a good, where the it's... other two have done it year in year out at a, a top level. Um, yeah, I, I, I do see what you mean. But uh, like JB says, we've seen them play together. It's this this isn't like fancy football. We've seen them two play together and it doesn't work. It, it, they do sort of cancel each other out. And that's, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, well, the flair of Bale at his best of that season, um, next to, with the, the gritty uh, determination of Keane and Gerrard in the middle, I, to me, that's the combination. 
Because then you've got Giggs and Bale on yeah. the sides. You've got Keane and Gerrard. So the two middle. is Bale and, and Gerrard. Gerrard. Yeah. Yeah. The way I see it, I see the team as this. I see Roy Keane being moved to here. Yeah, but that don't work on podcasting, Dave. Tell us where you're pointing. So, in, front, <laughs> in front of the back four. And then you have Gerrard. Bell is not in the team. And then you have a mid three of Giggs, Gerrard, Gerrard and Lampard. And then you're two up front. So it's really a 4 1 3 2. What do you yeah. think of that, JB? Yeah, I mean, I say that, that, that works, but. Again, I'm like Bob. In the back of my mind, that them two just have never played well together. I've never seen them. So, who would you who would you drop? Gerard or Lampard? It'd probably be Lampard. You drop that, Lampard. That's, that's that's really difficult to say because of of you know what a player he is. Uh, how many goals he scored? You know, never let England down. Never, never let Chelsea down. Difficult for me putting Gerard and Lampard in there is like can't is like not putting anybody in there because they cancel each other out. I th- I think whereas you, you obviously Keane's never played with Gerard or or no. whatever, so we can't sort of compare. But we know for a fact that Gerard Lampard doesn't work. No, but I'll get back to what I was saying. I'm I'm convinced it would work because. They just needed a holding player and a different formation. And by, when you played four four two, and it was stuck with Gerard Lampard in the middle, to me it was like, uh, I'll go forward because then he has to stay. And I'm sure they was both thinking the same thing. If I go forward, then he's lumbered He's forced to, to, yeah. And, and I just think a manager should have had the brains to say, pick Carrick and say to Carrick, you're holding, let them go and do whatever. And we got Roy Keane. And we got Roy Keane, which is, a, which is why I think it could work. So you go along with me. Yeah. You see Roy Keane as holding player, Lampard, Gerard. Yeah. So you're you're sticking with a four one uh three two. Yeah. Four one three two. But if, I mean if you two I just are sticking I, with Bale, you've I, got to choose. It, it, for me it's less less with sticking with Bale and more about Gerard and Lampard not both playing. I mean it's hard enough not having skulls involved. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. So Gerard <laughs> is some Thinkable that you could have this team without Gerard and Lampard. I mean, mm. they're just fantastic players over yeah. a, a really long period of time. Yeah, I, I mean, if you're just picking a team, uh, yeah, absolutely. But this team's, if you're thinking about playing and this team's going to actually play with these players at their peak, I just wouldn't, I, I would play one or the other, Gerard or Lampard. I just think Gerard is a better player. That's, you know, it comes down I to think that. A more mobile player. I don't think he obviously gets in the box as much as Lampard. And he's going to do more midfield work, yeah, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Well, we can't decide. <laughs> <laughs> We're at a stale, mate. <laughs> uh, if, I mean, if, the, if Keane becomes the... the I, I mean, mean say, quite happy for Keane to drop back and have those three in midfield because you have got Walker and Cole that can be wing-backs. Yeah. And that's what you'd be looking at for people to get forward if you don't have natural wide people. But you can't, yeah, but you can't have the team without kicks, can you? No. You, you about, just can't, it's impossible to have not... sacrificing Rooney and having Lampard and Gerrard and Bell. See, that is a possibility. That's a possibility. What, so if... What, so King Rooney goes... King goes, goes Shearer goes there. There don't work on podcasting. Oh, Shearer <laughs> goes up front on his own. Right. You've got plenty of attacking options in midfield. So Rooney goes, Shearer goes there. In the middle. Then we have, of... In the middle. Then we have Bell, Wide, Keane, Gerrard and Lampard. That's that little midfield. I'd be happier with that. Would you could be all right with that, John? Do you think that's better? Um, yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, There's a I think compromise. Rooney, it'd be hard for Rooney not to be in the team. Stick him on the bench. All right. <laughs> You're right with that, JB. You'd be all right with that, yeah. But again, with like John said, you know, Rooney. But know. then you've got Lampard, I mean, Gerard. Yeah. I mean, shall yeah. I put it on the ball to see what it looks like? See if we can. Yeah, you say. Yeah, any, see how many looks. England goals has Lampard got? Yeah, see, all that comes into. Yeah, how many exactly. England goals has Rooney got? Yeah, so. So we're taking out. So, so Rooney's yeah. going. We're going to put um, Keane in the middle. 
as a holding midfielder. Shearer up front on his own. So Rooney's gone. And then... Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale on the right. And Gerard and Lampard in the middle, just in front of Keane. I mean, with with this... See, I'm I'm happy with that because I think Lampard, I see, balance, will move yeah. forward. Yeah. We'll move yeah. forward a lot more. Gerard's got the freedom to go forward, yeah. but we'll still do that uh, midfield. Whatever work. team we come up with, we're going to have to drop really, really good players. Is that? Oh, of course, can't yeah, yeah. Get them all in. I mean, we, it, it well, won't... there's three players that stand out that's not in there. I think it's it's Harry Kane, Skulls. Rooney, and Skulls. Yeah. But what we're left with, I mean, I, for me, I wouldn't have had Bow in the team, but I'm. Willing to go along with the gang. So for me, Rooney's a much better player than Gareth Bale. But looking at the team, it's a strong team. Would you say it's a strong team? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if you if you said to me, if you if you pick eleven players, the, you know the best um, British Isles players, you'd have you'd end up with a different eleven if you did, didn't worry about how they're going to play and what position and that. But if you if it's going to work and they're going to play. Play well together. I think this is it. But don't forget, they're up against the overseas team, and you bet your life these players, especially Keane Terry players, they'd want to beat them, wouldn't oh, they? Yeah. So if you yeah. hold up that team there, so read out the overseas team, Dave, and right. just go through both overseas. Schmeichel in goal, back three. This IA company Van Dyke holding players Vieira and Essien. Across the middle, Ronaldo, Hazard, Burkamp, and Henri, licensed to go forward. And up front, Big Drogba. And the British Isles team, Seaman in goal, back four, Walker, Terry, Rio Ferdinand, Ashley Cole, holding player, Roy Keane. Across the middle, Gareth Bale, Stephen Gerrard, Frank Lampard, and Giggs. Up front, Alan Shearer. The end of the game, wasn't it? Mm. Who'd win, John? I've got to say, I think looking at when you match up the players man for man, I think the old English team might, have, British team might have a chance. Because you think Thierry Henry was fast, strong, but Walker could probably match him for pace. Ashley Cole always had a good record against Ronaldo. <laughs> and then it would probably be out of Keane, Gerald, and Lampard. Would, would they be able to cope with Hazard, Burkamp, Essien, and Vieira in that middle area? What are you, JB? I just think it's got a goldish draw written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a boring nil nil. <laughs> nil nil! <laughs> Who captains the British Isles team? Roy Keane? John Terry for me. Yeah? Mm. Oh, Roy Keane's got to be captain, isn't he? Right at the old sleeve. He was fighting with Vieira in the, in the uh, tunnel, yeah. wasn't he? <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why did I get you out there? Why did I get you out there? So how many captains actually do we have in? One, two, three. Yeah. What about in the overseas? Well, not really. You've got Vieira and company. I don't have company as captain myself because he's right in the middle there, quarterback. Yeah. Seeing there all in front of him. Yeah, I think Desai was a, a bit of a leader as well, wasn't he? Oh, there's a lot of leaders in there, but actual captains. You reckon yeah. Vidic should have got in in front of him, didn't you, John? Um, I thought, obviously, Vidic was a good player. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know if we ever see the the best of Desailly at, at Chelsea. Yeah. I think probably when he was out, he was at AC Milan. Yeah. I think I think that's when he was at his best. But class he, act, he was still class a good act, player. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Again, another Rolls-Royce as a, you know, as a... Yeah. Yeah, I think he elevated Chelsea when he came along. Yeah. I, mean, I just think he got oh, the best shit, out of I just realised. Well, forgot Ray Parler. Oh, no. Oh, Rob for oh, no. Cross them all out. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> here we go. Here we go, Captain. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, so, I, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to end. Uh, we've got our teams. Yeah. Did you want to run for it? You've just run no, for it. Yeah, you're good. Uh, so, I'm just going to do one more quiz and then I'm going to ask you about the Euros. So, uh, so same again. Uh, same again. Uh, Andy Cole. JB? Oh, Manchester United. Yes. John? Oh, what clubs do you play for? Yeah. Uh, Newcastle. Newcastle. Dave? Arsenal. No. Not in the Premier League. Oh, you'd say you're that. Out, you're, oh, yeah. You're out, Dave. <laughs> JB? 
Well, he couldn't have played for Arsenal outside the Premier League, though, could he? No, he must be a League Cup game. Why? Jamie? How many clubs are we looking for? A seven he played for. We got two. Andy Cole played for seven teams. Yeah. I know, I don't know one at all. Fair enough. Wish for it, Dave. <laughs> Fair enough, a lot of them are kind of end of career, but yeah. So we've had Newcastle and Man United, the two probably most well-known ones. Oh, I can't think of any more. I'm going to go Portsmouth. Portsmouth, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I have, John. <laughs> <laughs> Portsmouth. Uh, he, cold. he was blinking a nuisance, he was. Um, he must have played for uh, oh, West Ham. It's Andrew Cole now, isn't it? It's not Andy Cole anymore, it's Andrew Cole. Who cares? Nobody talks about him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's played for Blackburn at some point. Blackburn, so yes. Everyone's played That's for Blackburn. It's a fact. JB, three more. Jesus. No, he played for Man City, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Birmingham City. No. John, you can take it. For the title. Come on. Come on, though, with the pressure. It. I've got a feeling I can see him in a Fulham shirt. Fulham, yeah. Hey. Yay. Say the yeah. best till last. Well played. Yeah. Uh, the other teams were Man City and Sunderland. So, yeah. So, it's uh, JB and John. Did you want to do a decider, you two? You got one each? No, I'll be calling it a draw. <laughs> well, thank, thanks, mate. Boring um, draw. So, yeah. <laughs> a boring one-one draw. Um, so, I wanted to ask you about the Euros. How do you think England is going to do? How do you think, how do you see it going? Yeah, I don't rate Southgate. I think we'll come unstuck in the last 16 <laughs> and we have to play... Um... Oh, but well, I, sh- I suppose I should say that we're. this is the Saturday before the first... There's only been England. one game. Yeah, there's only been one game of the whole Euros. England haven't played yet, so if you listen yeah. to it later... Yeah, I've been <laughs> looking at that draw. If we win our group, we're going to end up with Germany, Portugal or France in the last 16. Easy. Uh, <laughs> who knows? Uh, JB? Uh, I'd like to think we do well. But... But when this goes out, the Euros will probably be over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the funny thing. Yeah, I- but I can see us getting knocked out in the last 16. So on the... What about you, Dave? They won't win it. They never do. They always let us down. The best thing we can do is finish second or third in our group and qualify. Because the draw will be a bit like the World Cup. The yeah. draw is much kinder yeah, I think, to us. I think you can come third and still qualify. Oh, yeah. Yeah, as a, as a best sort of third place yeah. team. Yeah. Oh, OK. They're, They're going to have to go some to finish third in that group, though, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, but second so. second, second would be brilliant. Yeah. Because they avoid... The big guns. The big guns. Yeah, yeah. The, the easier half. We get, so, we get Belgium or someone easy like that. <laughs> Walk in the park. <laughs> um, so on the other end of that, who do you think is going to win it then? If it ain't going to be England, who's it going to be? Who, who's your I money on? On paper, France have got the best team. Whether they all turn up, they're already talking about they're arguing and there's... Oh, you know, they do so argue that they're French. If so-and-so's not passing to me, Giroud, he don't pass to me and someone don't pass to him and... So He's not all, passing all paper, to me. Yeah, 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 it's my ball, so I'm, I'm going home, yeah. Home. yeah. <laughs> so, on paper, I think France have got the best squad. Is but, that who you would put your money on? Yeah, if I was a betting man... So there's no I'm value not. on France, though. The bottom is on Portugal because there's no money to be made yeah. on France. But do you actually think that they... they got a decent chance, you know, I decent, um, Forgetting the odds and what they who they think is going to win. No, no, they're all, every country was 10 to 1. I back France, but they're not. Oh, OK. So the value is going for going someone. Back, yeah. Belgium will be thereabouts. Yeah, but they always yeah. flatter to yeah, deceive. they do, yeah. But they're they're great players. Yeah, they, they don't Spain do Spain used nothing. to be like that. Always flat yeah, to deceive. Yeah, 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 they would have won it. And then they win, win the next World Cup. And then, you know. Yeah. John? Well, I think it might be down to who's got the best manager because England have got probably the second best squad there. Not the second best manager then. Sorry? They haven't got the second best manager in England, have they? No. no. <laughs> which is why I don't think. Which is why I don't think they'll get. Anywhere. Why do you not rate Southgate then? What's the? What's the... I don't think he's very good. Look no. at the world. <laughs> Would you like him at Arsenal? Oh no no no! I mean, I think he's boring as hell. I think he's, I think he's feet uh, like he, he, the people who give him the job. He's their wet dream. He's 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 a, he's a yes he man. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, Bob, I don't know you want somebody to go in there I don't and know shake where we've it up? Got this from that he, yeah. he he done well in the World Cup. We never beat anyone decent. Yeah. The three decent teams we played, we lost to them, and I don't even think Croatia were that good, no. and we lost to them. Yeah. Yeah. We lost twice well, to Belgium, and I mean, who did we beat in that World Colombia? We beat teams that. 
Panama. Yeah. Colombia on penalties. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we, we yeah. should have beat Croatia. We were hopeless in yeah. that World Cup. He actually yeah. got a knighthood out of it, didn't he? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think we beat a decent team. We didn't. No, uh, we got to the semis and then come up against an half decent team. And who'd already beaten us before? So again, follow up question: If you could pick the England manager, who would you have? I still have Brian Clough from Beyond the Grave. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's the best one we never had. I think. What yeah. about Redknapp? Barry. No, nah, he's got too late no. for him. No, not now. No, I mean, no. like, should he have gone? Well, he, he, he should have, did it, he should have got it before Hodgson. Was it Hodgson oh, that picked yeah, him for the boy. post? Then, but I mean, he was a total disaster at Liverpool. I just because he couldn't manage the big players. They didn't want him yeah. today. He had to go. Yeah. Now you look at someone like Klopp. If he was England manager yeah. for these four weeks, yeah. you'd think we'd have a drive and a deter- yeah. determination. See, I, I think international football chance. should be international football. Every country. <laughs> The manager, the trainer, the boot boy, they should all be English. And every country should have their mm. own... What about the players? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the players, the manager, everyone should represent their country, not bringing in foreign managers. It spoils it for me. England has so, never been the same since we've got foreign managers. So we? is it the country you're born in? Or is it from... The country you've played for? Yeah, no. I'm yeah, but... Well, yeah, the Ireland thing, I mean... Well, you had the two yeah. twins as well. well the were twins were Ryan Giggs born, born in England? Born in Manchester or wherever. Yeah. Or, and, he played for England well. youth, I didn't he? I thought Ryan yeah. Giggs was born in England. He decided yeah, to play for Wales. Yeah, but he's yeah. sp- spitting his a bit there. Aren't parents were Welsh. And, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, I mean, and I'll never regret it, Ryan Giggs. Of course he regretted it. He could have played a lot of World Cups, couldn't he? We could have had Bow for the last yeah. and yeah. years. But they, they, well, there was a the old story about the Republic of Ireland back in the day of... You, you remember this player, Terry Mancini. I think Terry Mancini, yeah, yeah, the ball bloke. Yeah. So QPR, he suddenly got a call up yeah. for the Republic of Ireland and the story goes, the national anthem's going. And he turns around to his teammate, he said, fucking hell, this is terrible. I hope our one's better than this one. And the bloke says, this is our one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was the case of getting people in from like yeah <laughs> didn't even well, know they, they, I can't remember when it was, it was uh, there was two twins playing for different international teams playing against each mm. other it's, it's it's crazy the, the, the mm. loopholes yeah. and yeah. You know, if you say you're this you can go to the World Cup yeah. you know it's... but you do have to make a decision don't you at a certain time yeah Oh, yeah, you couldn't, you know, Wayne Rooney couldn't have halfway through 2006 gone, oh, no, I'm Welsh. Just like I think Mark Lawrenson's English, and he played for Republic of Ireland, because at the point, I think he was playing for Brighton, they're never going to get the England team. A year later, he goes to Liverpool, becomes one of the best players in the league. Yeah. Yeah. That seemed a good idea at the time. Yeah. Um, Well, I think we've... So what manager are we going to have then for England? Yeah, who would you pick? It, like Klopp, did I you say Klopp? Klopp for me, it's a standout. But you wouldn't have... So if you had to have an Englishman, Dave, and if you're playing by your rules, who would it be? Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard, that's not that shit. I didn't think he was going to say that. I didn't... Uh, yeah. Why not? Well, yeah, why Successful not? Successful at Rangers. English for a through. They respect him. I think he's a scouser, really, Gerrard. <laughs> Do you reckon? I've heard him interview. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, that's it. That's our England team. Um, good luck to England in the British Euros. British Isles team. British Isles team. No, I was going to say England for the Euros. Oh, okay. Yeah, not our team. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're not actually. I think their team will win it. Yeah, oh, God, definitely. Um, so thank you very much to JB for joining You're us. Been John, a Enjoy always it. a thank pleasure. Uh, Dave. It's all right. <laughs> um, I have nothing to do anyway. Ho- <laughs> yeah, retired. Um hopefully we'll do more of these um, come up with different uh, things uh, join us on our Facebook page and uh, let us know what you think um, any... I'll, tell you, I'll tell you an episode that'll take a long time go on the uh, Arsenal Chelsea Tottenham combined 11 of the Premiership <laughs> oh saying that though uh, that programme with um, Keenan Vieira is good isn't oh, yeah, it the, the, what, United, the best of enemies yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. have you seen that John, yeah, yeah. yeah. It they was pe- repeated this week. I mean, on the yeah, day. I saw it recently. They picked well. Lauren in front of uh, Gary Neville right back, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, because uh, Vieira wanted him in. Well, that's the end of the uh, podcast. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, hopefully, we'll do some more. Um, we'll see you next time. Take well, care. Yeah, see you later. Bye. Oh, back to his best. Oh, a 
sublime goal by Dennis Bergkamp. Frank Lampard, what a beauty. And it's Thierry Henry. And Henry is magnificent. Harry Kane. Oh, no, what a goal. Absolutely brilliant. Fantastic from Wayne Rooney. Steven Gerrard. And that is an absolute crackerjack. And the Canyon Hall. I do yeah. not believe that. Uh, Shearer. Aguero. 